Hey Slayers, hey Vams, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm reacting to Interview with the Vampire Season 2. Season 1 I felt like was quite a hit on my channel and that is really exciting because I really loved it. I mean, as we may or may not know, I react to everything through a Buffy the Vampire Slayer lens, hence the name of the channel. Just having it be a show of vampires and gay vampires, my world is shook. After season two, I am going to finally react to Interview with the Vampire the movie. I've never seen it. No spoilers, please, even though I'm excited to go into that seeing the differences and such. But I remember being told that I shouldn't watch the movie until after season two. And I feel like I have an idea of what the spoiler is. I may have gotten spoiled by by Kirsten Dunst talking about something about it and I instantly stopped. Anyways, I hope there's a recap. I know like the main thing is they think Lestat's dead. They tried to pull a fast one on Lestat and it did work, but he's still alive and they don't know it. I heard that from watching some interviews. Oh my God. <laughs> Speaking of interviews, I watched one of their interviews as like a cast and it was like low key so messy. Like all of their energy G's didn't mesh like I don't know how to explain it but the new guy Ahmed like he was so out of pocket I felt like and it was just hilarious where Lestat the actor is being very serious and like we love it stop okay so I believe I ended my last reaction announcing that I was going to react to the Mary Fair Witches and it was literally crickets I kind of like looked into it and it seems like it wasn't well liked literally not one person I think said yes react to it it was more like eh kind of vibe so I think I'm going to watch that on my own I fucking love witches and it has this type of budget so I really don't understand why no one cared especially like, it being the sister to this might have heard that there'll be a crossover eventually did get renewed for a season two so it couldn't have been that bad I'm gonna watch it on my own and maybe if it's really good to me I'll watch season two with you guys but I feel like probably not I might watch the first two seasons on my own and if there's more talk of like crossovers then maybe I'll start like doing it I just have to see like maybe it's not like that good or it is good but like I could just watch it on my own because I'm also not planning on adding shows other than the ones that I've already reacted to so there's also that okay if you'd like to watch the full-length reaction check out my patreon link will be below but if you prefer the youtube edit let's get into it i can't believe we're doing this right now everything i'm going to kill him we were going to kill let's die we threw him in a trunk left him out with the garbage and headed for Europe. You didn't kill Lestat. You chose Lestat over her time and time again. And you're still Louis the Pimp. So, so is that insinuating that he knew that he didn't die? Because that's crazy. What can the damned really say to the damned? The role of Claudia will now be played by... That's cool that they announced that. She writes here, I do not dream. I can confirm that. <laughs> She continues. We traveled light in our ancestral home. We slept in the earth. She wasn't gonna let humanity's ideological rift delay her. Is he not hungry? Uh, there we go. Can you imagine never dreaming? Would you look forward to sleep or would it terrify you? Or is it the sleep of an infant, tabula rasa? Once again, that's the voice of a vampire, Armand, but continue to disregard it as he remains off the record. I'm in our dining room. You're not dining. An ancient doesn't need the blood as often as the young do. Intriguing. The papira. No house, Bertien. Pajalsta. Richness. Storm. No arbeit. She had stowed us away in ships, trains, and wagons. She had asked the desperate farmers and ration soldiers to teach her their languages before she killed them. I endured it all for Claudia, whose rage toward me and my refusal to burn Lestat had dulled into a bitter silence. This war, it's affecting the blood. We're drinking misery. It's in the blood. We're taking it in. That's interesting. I like that. What does she think? Louis? Did he say something? 
Wow, she's a total different I did say something, Claudia. vampire this season. But, uh... All right. It wasn't the murdering Hun that chased the vampire away. Claudia was unassailable, like some deranged geologist. It's that dead. was cool looking. Maybe it's time we go home. He asked me if we can go home. Home? Can there be a more offensive question? Run back to New Orleans, pry up his bones. Why don't you? Louis de Point de Lac, dead weight. I want to thank you for the memories you helped restore the other night. I understand these diaries much better now. My love ran a theater company for 150 years, Daniel. Your love was in a box, pondering a premeditated neck wound. According to Claudia, she wrote it. Let's choose to believe it. Sorry, I'm not really talking too much. I'm just very invested. I did not think we'd see him this quick. Is this real, though? Bonjour, mon amour. No. Oui. Go away. Or do you miss me? I miss you. I missed him. Claudia! Hmm. Four years of grim wayfaring. You're not here, I'm just f***ing in the head. Was she worth it? Yes. You say it like you believe it. I do. I do. I do. Stop! I do. I do. I do. Cool. It was a perfect betrayal. You gave me a death of distinction. But in answer to your question, yes, I'm gonna bloody kill you. But you were alive. You'd have done it already. I feel like you should know I'm that. Really waiting until you're happy. Oh my so God! Of course. I had taken seven thousand souls by then. Taken seven thousand souls by then. Wow. I feel like just. The fact that Louis is dreaming about Lestat should confirm to him somehow that he is alive. And the fact that he said he's waiting for him to be happy is like the cherry on top. He's alive and that's exactly what he's going to do. And that's so evil. I love it. I thought I was going to say this in the intro, but I lost track of thought. I'm pretty sure too, we're going to get Lestat's backstory, which is fun, but it's going to be through the lens of someone else, whatever that means. Also the Ahmed guy, I'm not excited about him or intrigued by him. Their connection and crazy ass love story was like so enthralling if that's a word that i just feel like this guy is so random and also he just doesn't look like a tough guy or whatever so it's just like very curious about him i want to see how he is because i'm not sold yet the stock was the only one that felt like murder semantics surely but is how i felt but in romania the champagne fizzled romania let's go away I don't get it. Why are they shooting up coffins? Are they afraid of the living dead? Just like in the books, they think garlic protects Your them. Your books? They think we hate Jesus. Interesting. Another crucifix. Hey, now, look at it. Look at it. Oh, shit. Look like you should. Don't say anything about anything. Documenta. I love the lore of people. Believing in the vampire lore. American? Yeah. Emilia. Mary. This is my father, Robert. We're tired. We can use a place to sleep. Got things to thank you with. Vodka? Vodka. You will make the friends. No more beds. Boiler room you can use for night. Thank you. American. Ce adus vodka cigari. They are not used to seeing men with good looks. The rest of everyone? Most from town. Some can't go home. Home is gone. How come y'all living out here? Stone walls, metal doors. Something going on out in the woods? Bombs and ground, wolves, and maybe something uh, worse. Or maybe vampires. Please. Oh, look, soldiers with garlic no, around their no, necks. No, 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 no. Oh. Soup for cigarettes. Bad trade for you. 
Americans. I haven't heard a word of English in half a year. Say something. Anything. Uh, something. Anything. Uh, hello. Hello. What am I talking? Oh, you, darling, are taught broken English by an Englishman too enamored with his student to do the job properly. This Robert. Ah, uh, Louis. She's a quick study, actually, and very resourceful, and I'm desperately in love with her. I hear her vodka. What's your name, sweetheart? Why are they shooting up graves outside? This is my daughter, Mary. Uh, Andre, maybe you can take Mary here to meet the other children. I'm fine, sir. Thank you. Go ahead, Mary. Go meet the other children. I bet they know everything about this place. Wait, that's wrong. She didn't say that in front of Claudia. Huh? Say what? Who? The wolves. Something worse. Amelia, she would not have said that in front of Claudia. Wolves? Maybe German soldiers who don't know war is over. Maybe something uh, worse. She thought Claudia was a child. Claudia left, and then she said it. Something going on out there in the woods? Bombs in ground, wolves, maybe Germans, maybe something worse. Wolves, werewolves, because of that would be cool. I don't think yes. we're there yet, though. Yes, that's how it went. Okay. We every detail right. Total agreement. Perhaps this would be a time to take a break, Louis. Yeah, because I don't get what's so crazy about that. Armand didn't want me to do the interview, Daniel. Still don't. But he wanted to be close to it, right, Real Rashid? Whatever it is they're trying to hide, I'm, I'm probably not gonna crack it, which is, you know, who cares? It happens all the time. But I wanna ask you, why say, hey, vampires are real? Here's almost all the story. Thank you, Rashid. I'm coming after you, Real Rashid. You, I can f***ing break. Rashid, excuse me. So you're really liking her this season. This adult vibe is cool to see. Why are they firing in the coffins here? <laughs> Farm boys. German amphetamines. Superstitions of a backward country. Mad fog. In the dirt, trees and rivers. I keep my trousers pinned at the ankle when I sleep for fear it'll get me too. This is an old country with old things in it. It's interesting that they're in Romania. Obviously, Dracula's from Transylvania in Romania. I'm assuming no, but I would love a Dracula crossover moment further down the seasons. That would be really cool. I'm assuming that's vampire lore in this series. Like, there's not the actually a Dracula, come. maybe? Something out there with soul disturbance. Oh. oh my god, are we getting like demons? It's a vampire. I don't know. <laughs> Interesting. Kind of like an uber vamp. Ah, you. A red is no judgment. A question. what? I am a magical vodka negro. <laughs> Having the first all right night in quite a while. Which is it? This is why you have no friends, old man. I'm looking for my wife. Oh, it's printed on our album. I really want to hear the ladies sing. I take my own photographs. I make more money that way. And your dutiful wife's photograph was taken by a glass plate camera printed on album paper. That makes this 30 years old, which would make her 60, 65, and the birth of your daughter a medical miracle. This is a road you really don't want to go down. I like you. You seem like a good man. If you're AWOL, turn back around and take your punishment. That it? That's it. <sighs> that was unkind. Cutting you off and taking your woman. Never mess with a magical vodka, Negro. Can I have this dance? You're gonna lead Louis Rose. If you're a Bolshevik, you're making a fool's bed. You really want to marry him? He's got the big one down the pants. <laughs> Daddy, I fell out of a tree. It was this big grayish thing, and clothes were rotting off it like it died in him. Do it! Ah! It was strong, and he killed, and carried off its kill. Was it a vampire? It had fangs. What else would it be? Yikes. 
Did it speak? Yes, I tried telepathy. So it did speak? I think it was sick. Mortals scared of vampires in a part of the world known for vampires ain't a surprise or evidence of an actual vampire. There's one of us out there. What if he can't take you ball and dancing to tell you you're pretty? Hell with him, is oh, that it? hello, grudge. No, I forgave you for messing up my plan. I did not forgive you for bringing him with you. In a landfill with five years of garbage on top. In here. You carry him in here. You slow us down. I've known exactly four vampires in my life, and you've all been the worst. Let's start Antoinette, the mother and you. I'm looking for one. Just one that ain't a goddamn bastard. Memories just keep bubbling up. I woke that night to the sound of chaos erupting nearby. Claudia was uh, dreaming. She was dreaming, her head twitching like you would. She's having a nightmare. What's worse than a nightmare? If your soul's projecting out its fears, at least it's up and running. But the absence of anything, the void, the nothing, pieces coming back. It was just something she wrote, but it wasn't true. She could dream. Thank you. If you want to take that break. No, I want this to remember. She woke up to the noise. We arrived back on the factory floor. Louis, thank God, please just help bring some damn sanity to the room. That's Amelia. I think she's a monster. Louis or Robert, whoever the hell you are, just help me. Okay. Oh my god. So Are they feel like she's gonna turn into a vampire. Right? I can't take those on dates. And how to avoid it. She was getting the breath. The piss! The go, go, go! That Our little hat. Holy crap. Oh, they're trying to beat it. I'm happy Louis saw this. It's okay, it's yours. We don't want it. What the hell is that? A vampire. Uh, yeah. Doesn't like her. Us, you, same. Not the same, not even close. <gasps> Who is that? That's a different thing. Claudia. Claudia. What the heck is going on? Can we pop them back in? Oh, why do I feel so bad? <laughs> oh my god. Holy crap, I feel terrible. I have chills. Great actress, damn. A woman vampire. An angry woman vampire. Okay. We said she wanted us to follow. So we're not gonna hide the demon's body. And so we did. But even if we could get her to talk to us, what would she say? What, after all, can the damned really say to the damned? <laughs> okay, but why did that one vampire look so crazy? I mean, her too. Noi suntem de dincolo de ocean. De cinci ani vă cautăm. Am venit un locul unde se vorbește despre vampiri. Ca să mai găsim pe el și că noi. Tell her about the blood. Say it in English. The blood is bad here. Sunt jile iere oaieci. The humans. Oamenii. There's too much sadness. E prea multă tristețe. Prea multă durere. That's so interesting. Can you guys let me know if that little aspect of the blood was being sad in the book or if that's just a show thing? Because I really like that. Maybe you need better blood. What's a sungeli mai bun? De peste ocean? America. Anca unu pa o lumanara. Cut sa dintre noi am mai ramas. What's she saying? Cine e mai ramas? De ultimul mi le ucis acolo. Ne fut si o reo. 
What'd she say? Is she gonna get pissed? Maybe he looked like that because of the blood out here so bad. And that is how we met the old world vampire. The old world vampire. I was excited for her to come along. Could I see the pages we removed? Claudia's diaries. Interesting. We made an agreement. I don't know what else is blurred. My name is in some of those pages. I sit across and reckon with the knowledge. I don't know. Oh, this other is cool. Misrememberings made in him. Like grabbing a BTS moment. I won't share them with him, but I need to read them again. Ooh, can we see though? May I make an observation? I lost control of the interview. Yes. He's skilled. He wants you in pieces for the privilege of putting them back together as he sees fit. It's his job. It's his drug. He's reveling in it. You should end it. No. Put him back on a plane is what I mean. No. Oh, isn't he like sick? Like dying? Or did I just make that up? I'll have Rashid assemble the pages removed. I was hoping to get more into his character. Cause like I wanna feel more for him. What's the observation? In their relationship. The boy we met in San Francisco. The one who fumbled over his tape recording device, who barely understood the meaning of the story he was being told. Daniel? He's still in there, somewhere. We can find him. We can have him saying what happened next in no time. How? We do it together. Like everything we've done for the past 70 years. Cool. And they're still holding hands. Good morning. They're uh -huh. feeling lovey. So, fellas, More lovey than usual. What's up? Yeah. You have our attention. On the record. Oh, he's going to talk? Session 10, the vampire Louis and the vampire Armand. Claudia was entirely broken. She had left a part of herself in Romania. I knew I had to steer her far away from it. Chose the city that called to us on the radio. To the mother of New Orleans. Members of my coven had sensed the we'll, presence. We'll, 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 we'll get to you. The war had turned off the lights, stripped its streets of their beauty, sent its avant-garde into exile. But now... The whole world was ready to return. I want to say something to you. I don't need to hear anything back. I just need you to hear me. Our life is shit. It's been shit. It is shit. It's going to be shit again. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. A shit life beats no life. Where we're going now, we can't be running away again. As long as you walk the earth, I'll never taste the fire. You understand me? We're going to find others like us. And if it ain't here because life is shit, or I f*** it up again, or you f*** it up or go to the next place you can't be the only good ones out there soft words if you were the last vampire on earth it would be enough oh bad bad boy sure, me. me and you yet he's still there okay okay oh wow this is such a so leaf turning they're really turning a leaf. I wonder if that's true though, because he was still seeing Lestat, but then he did go away at the end. I don't know, I just have a bit of trust issues. That was a great episode. This season on Interview with the Vampire. I weirdly was getting emotional watching that because... <laughs> I don't know, creating film and the story just being so important when it's just for entertainment. It's just the art of it. it makes me emotional and I can't even imagine having the opportunity to create something so cool and epic, I guess. I gotta get to my book writing. Anyways. All right, guys. So I just reacted to the inside the episode for Patreon. Obsessed with those. I think they're so cool. I 
I think for now on, I'll try to say a bit in the beginning before watching those because it does kind of conclude things that I would be saying now, I guess. But I did say a lot throughout the episode on like how like I felt and stuff. I'm just really excited for this journey. It's going to be crazy. I know it. It's literally going to be epic. I really thought that crazy looking vampire mom was going to stick with them. That was exciting but it was to symbolize to Claudia, which I just learned, that vampire life is a lonely life. It's really deep. There wasn't a lot of Lestat, but it was a lot more, honestly, than I even thought that he would be in, I guess. It's cool the way they're keeping him relevant in just, like, the mind of Louis. All right, guys, if you like this video and you're excited for me to continue interview with the vampire, please give this a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you on the next one. It's Billy. Hey vamps, hey slayers, welcome back to another episode of Interview with the Vampire, season 2, episode 2, Do You Know What It Means to Be Loved by Death? No. Last episode was excellent, I'm not surprised. We ended up on the move, I'm hoping that we meet Ahmad, I guess. Also, I'm already way more interested in Ahmad from watching that first episode, and I feel like I didn't really make that clear. A lot of you guys go hard for him, which is cool and exciting. Feel like Lestat will be my boy for life, but who knows, it definitely can change. But yeah, you guys definitely said you guys, he's like, your favorite character, Ahmad. So I'm excited to delve more into that. As we know, I love when you guys send me fun facts. You guys explained to me that the older the vampires get, they really just start to lose it because they're literally living forever. And in that, it's really a crazy concept. So they're taking this immortality to such a human level. And that's just really so fun and cool about the show and Anne Rice is writing and the way the series is portraying the book. It's just excellent all around. So that was cool. With that being said, I didn't really understand the vampires, how like it's a lonely life. And I know that was said in the show, but it, through your guys' comments, it's like really sinking in like, again, the human aspect of if you were to live forever and the problems that would occur with that. And like feeling that loneliness because you don't really have that person or they die. I love vampires vampire lore. I love lore. Supernatural lore. So that is really fantastic. But first, if you'd like to watch my uncut reaction, uncensored, and also the inside the episode at the end, check out my Patreon. Link will be below. But if you prefer the YouTube edit, I really appreciate you. Please give this a thumbs up. Comment below. Let's get into it. Paris. For what Paris means to me now is very different from what it meant to me then. May I try? Please. Paris was an awakening for Louis. I feel something close to happiness when I think of it. The name alone, Paris. Paris sucks. But she proposed to your Alice in Paris. And she divorced me I in like Staten Barcelona Island. Island better. Paris <gasps> sucks. I'm Boy, from Staten Paris Island, guys. Not... What is with these shows using Staten Island fellow travelers? The main character was from Staten Island, and they didn't say it till the last episode. And I feel like they never mentioned Staten Island in this one either. Until right now, he's so Staten Island, that's so funny. It was healing, just as Claudia and I were healing. Gotta pick twice the pockets in this town to get anywhere. Maybe we chose the wrong town. Give her a little time is all. Where you wanna hunt? <laughs> it's custom and practice, traveling vampires to make themselves known to a local coven. We didn't get that memo. <laughs> <laughs> That's all he was saying, Mr. Malloy. Are you two going to finish each other's sentences for the whole session? We've been together 77 years, Daniel. 47 more than he did with Lestat. Should we let the math of that settle before continuing? <laughs> Keep selling it. We never brought our kills home. We used the sewers for that. Mm -hmm. Waterways of which they had no expertise. We were constantly cleaning up for them. And yet you never made contact with him. Theater called Théâtre des Vampires, a company that had been in existence for 150 years. That's so cute. <laughs> and it still feels like a slight. Because it's like they're an old married couple. But the reports were confounded. They are. <laughs> no, no, no. <gasps> as their tourists. I'm like, can't they just kill people? I'm <laughs> freaking loving this. I liked taking photographs. It 
took my mind off it. I want to meet some vampires. I'm so excited. What are you looking for when you take a picture? I don't know. Now you can get mindful about it. Ask yourself what brought them here. What brought you here? Is it coming together random? Choreograph? Rain. Sometimes I want the short answer. <laughs> you listen to their thoughts. You know what's coming. You take the picture. If you knew the answer, why'd you ask? Is it coming together random? Choreograph? Let me think I'm deeper than I am. <laughs> Is that how you show yourself that. yourself? I'm just trying to get through nice, sis. Who are you, Louie? I'm your brother. Who are you outside of me? Hmm. I'm the reticent vampire of the night they're on these ones. Ugh, I want to be where they're sitting. If there was no me, and there was no him, who would you be? Hmm. What do you want? We're getting deep. How you go and get there? I was hoping she was going to take a picture. She had a point. Yes. Paris sucks. That's not the point she was making. She's miserable, but she doesn't want to f with your too delusional left bank dilettante vibe. She wasn't telling me something I didn't know about myself. She was giving me permission to explore a life apart from her. It's Alice, Louis. I'm Claudia. Excuse me. I've triggered a memory. No, it's Claudia. It's 1985, I don't... and she tells you she's pregnant. You say, let's talk about it later tonight. I gotta knock out another chapter. Louis needs Paris. I don't know what I, I need. need. Maybe, Maybe a, a new, new brain, brain in my head. head. Maybe I don't want his feelings to depend on mine anymore. To be joyfully joyless. And forever switch of wild opposites at play. Désolé, on est fermé. Pas de saucy. Just the right breath. Faites attention, c'est une robe en soie. Une goutte d'eau pourrait l'attacher. Perfect for him, Pim. You can take it in for me, yes? You do alterations. My grand, uh, please, uh, don't pretend to be something you're not, yeah? Never thought about choosing to pretend. Life hasn't been kind enough to allow me that. Maybe if it had been, I'd be a lonely dressmaker in an empty shop denying my only potential customer. Respect my time. Guys, I think I like this actress oh. more. Hot take, maybe? The dress. For my body. I think they both did excellent, gloves. but... I'm thinking white. What weirdness have you brought us today? The Paris albums. Makes it more likely you'll rip a page in the item and being examined. Thank you. Oh, this is so sick. Imagine. So, photos are the record of time passing. Who are the young men? Vampires? Those were our young friends. Humans. Some are very old now. Most are dead. And some we simply drained for sport. Well, generally me. Louis has his ways. You guys also said that Louis isn't actually technically a good vampire. Like, at the end of the day, they are vampires. Or, I mean, maybe they're good now. I'm a bit fuzzy with the good and bad. Is he just eating pigeons or is he eating humans as well? And is he letting Claudia eat humans? Because if he is, then that's problematic. I gotta hone in on that. You could tell from his walk like he was an American. I'm an American. What exactly is an American walk? Two wars have made a certain impression on the men of France. That's really interesting. Other than optimistic. There was a park I'd heard about. Someone steady on his feet. With a history of chasing the wrong kind of love. I'll describe it myself, thank you. Yes. Hmm. But with a history of chasing the wrong kind of love. Well, we're better to explore who you are to find the right kind of love than in a public park. I had lost patience. I was convinced we were being toyed with and I could hold back the coven only so long. This is so cool. I knew the park well myself. I was not surprised to find him without the girl. I would confront the elder and make him aware of the ways rogue vampires were dealt with in Paris. He looked like a boy masquerading as a gentleman, but I sensed his ancient power right this away. So cool. He was awkward. His attempt to blend in as some, I mean, he was alarmingly handsome in the muted lamplight. I thought he was going to kill me. Wow. We got to see that. That was so cool. Who broke the ice? What were the first words of the ancient vampire to the future love of his life? I feel like Louis spoke he first. He said. Oh, he said, okay. I will not harm you. And I never have. Oh. And, okay. I don't know if I'm having trust issues right now, but him touching his hand, I don't know if that was like a nervous tick or if they're telling the truth. I feel like it's probably the truth, but I'm not going to be shocked if it isn't because like they're really going to be cool and have no drama. I mean, maybe I'm just chasing the toxic things too in life. No, I've learned, but that's just very interesting. I'm excited to see. You are most welcome. Dang. 
I'm starting to get why you guys love their relationship because if it is just always like pure, like this is not what I was expecting. The theater, we're gonna go. Oh, this is so cool. I love it. I found some. What did they found me? Found us? The Americans were finally coming to pick up. This is so cool. Our finest seats. Wow. We made it half full. A mixture of slavish devotees and overserved tourists. We had become amusingly passe amongst the theater community. Some had been there dozens of times. They were all the same to us. Cattle for our nightly Sabbath. But we were there for vampires. And we Ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. What you're about to see is for you an outrage. The rope slip. He's really flying. I'm I was just going to say that. To present to you the highest form of art. <gasps> oh, you've come to the right place. It's so At cool last. because they're like not acting, but they are. In fact, you don't leave here tonight seeing the world upside down and liking very much what you see. Uh, then we here at the Théâtre des Vampires have failed in our job. Those two girls look like real vampires in the audience, but I don't know if they're just crazy stands. They are. Those are fans. Everything you're about to see is real. Remember that when you leave here tonight, you are all complicit. And appalling! I love you for it. And I welcome you. I wonder if they're gonna kill people on stage and they're just gonna think that they're acting. Oh my god. They should do this. I mean, they should make a really realistic vampire show. Like, I don't know. <laughs> you guys got it, right? The actors performed in front of a cinema screen. The modern cinema had an enormous influence on my aesthetic. The plays were weird. The plays were timeless. They were weird and always ended in death or some kind of cruel, barely motivated violence. Claudia absolutely loved them. First time in Paris, I had seen a smile. But what was truly confusing that first night were the efforts to make it all appear as farce. Sir. The fake vampire okay. teeth, the fake blood. It was all a seduction. The only play that mattered was the last. I am what you think I am. Go away. Stop messing. <laughs> this is really happening. The vampires are not all a mouth. No, no, no. Start again. My name is Annie Corum. I was taken last night. These people, true vampires, they schooled my husband. I'll call him for you, baby. <laughs> that is crazy. Suppose the Reaper had a heart. Someone would have to take your place. Your husband? Your son? I can't have a button. How about him? Oh, dear man, I want you to remember this. The next time you're in the pew, turn to your neighbor and say, they'll give you up in a wink. Guys, I'm shook. Not his time. Now. <laughs> death awaits everyone everywhere. Unconscious death is the fate of all mortals. We are conscious death. And that would make you a bride. Do you know what it means to be loved by death? I'm holding my breath, guys, this whole time. Okay, so he glamored her to not bloody scream freak out. They fucking kill people on stage. Everyone thinks it's fake. Oh my god. You guys are insane. Bravo! Oh, 
Hopefully we you didn't like it, right? Guys, what? Your pick oven has been here since the reign of Charlemagne, but we only became a theater company after Donzon was guillotined. I'm speechless, guys. Very committed tonight. Bravo, brava. Five months of night waiting for you to humble us with your appearance. I ask you, Maître, was it worth the wait? Oi! The Americans are here! I can't breathe. I need to know what Louis is thinking. If they're thinking in front of the vampires, everyone could hear them. So they can't talk. So that's crazy. You were amazing. I was, wasn't I? Who's your maker? My maker? Mm. His name was Bruce. Mm. Is he Scottish? <laughs> he said he was from Copenhagen. We don't talk about him much. He uh, threw himself into a fire in front of us. I got a question. Who's that handsome man on the wall up there? Mm. Ah, with us in spirit, always. Our co-founder and the finest actor ever to walk on stage. Co-founder, of course. Let's start the Leon call. Should have seen that coming. Did not see that one coming. I have Big fucking flag, chills. Huh? I don't even think I put that together in the trailer because I think that's in the trailer. Co-founder. Well, I just also didn't understand what the show was. So this is hitting in a whole new way. Oh my God, of course. Of course this is part of his idea. Oh, I'd love to see him in this show. Oh, I think they're going to show it. Lestat probably did that main guy's part. He probably did that. Like the host of that theater. Oh my you god. In a community as small as ours, such crossings of immortal paths is expected, perhaps more common than you would think. I mean, come on. Lestat's painting on the wall. Are you kidding me? That means you knew Lestat before he did. Armand knew Lestat. And yes, he was briefly with Lestat. You both fucked Lestat. hundred plus years apart. They were not compatible. He tasted like vermouth and annihilation. <laughs> you shared a boyfriend. This is crazy. I fucked Santiago too. This is crazy. Lestat's appearance is important. Just not in the way you think it is, Daniel. I'm done thinking. I saw his stupid face up there and had to think of something quick. But you can make up a name. Uh, she, I knew she Jackson knew that. To him, and that's the only other vampire I knew. It's gonna be fine. Fine? Yeah, fine. What about Yeah, I like how they lied, but use things that we actually know, like throwing herself in the fire, Bruce. This show is so good. Peyton in a frame. They got a can shrine to him. What if they find out we killed him? One of us would have to tell them. Or think it. Well, I thought it the second I saw his face in the frame. But there they were, inviting <laughs> us back. And right after that, I invaded their thoughts. And not one of them saw anything other than I want to lick these two. And they're going to continue knowing nothing. Because I want to go back, Louis. Are you crazy? Vampire pride. Those Frenchies love being vampires. And they shamed us because we never felt that way. And we should. I'm going back. I want more. It's not safe. This is so cool. You felt my lust? Armand? Oh yeah. Felt his too. Now I know what two blood facts slapping hands feel like, so thank you for that. <laughs> Living. Seeing Lestat's portrait put me on edge. I needed confirmation of his death. And then I remembered his frequent money wires came from a law firm with an address in the Marais. I'm here to know if you've heard from him, if he is alive. And if so, we have not dealt from Monsieur de Lyoncourt since February 1940. I have no confirmation of his actual death and cannot declare him legally dead for years. But seeing as you are now here in Paris and the fact that he has made no withdrawal from his account between us, it is confirmation enough for me to pass this box to you. I have a client arriving in 20 minutes. You may have the office. Let's start. In the event that you are reading this, something dreadful has occurred, which is not my own death. Rather, the fact that we both now exist in two different worlds. Do not waste your life seeking revenge on the person or persons who did this. Do not give them the satisfaction of the hunt. You let treachery eat away at them from within. And you, you go carry on with your living. You are the only being I trust and whom I love. Above and beyond myself, all my love belongs to you. A veil will now forever separate our union. But it is a thin veil. 
And I'm always on the other side. Face pressed up against your lung. Le start de Lyoncourt. Le start, le start, le start. Love of my life, or is it more rebound of my life with you two? It's a haunting memory Louis just shared with you. What a comfort, your ability to continue pulling humor from his pain. It's a joke, you serve it up. Alice is in her third trimester. Wearing Pride. that short purple dress you favor. I like the way you she walked in it. She was confident. To hold her hand in Paris. You worked so hard to get that table right in the corner so you could pull out the rent <laughs> just at the right moment to surprise her. Which I did. And what did she say when you finally asked her to marry you? Louis, perhaps we should. She said no. She wanted to say yes, but she didn't trust you. You hadn't given her a reason to. Tables like are to turning. If she, you now? if she thinks of you now. Or we could simply return to the interview. If you're willing to ask your questions and then listen, which is your job. Yes. Good. So, your question. Oh. Damn. What happened next? <laughs> they invited us for a hunt. Claudia had attended a month of performances. And the coven felt she had proven herself sincere. I nodded off one night while Santiago was hamming it up. Apparently, that made me persona non grata with the leading man. Yeah, that's a no. <laughs> that's hysterical. I wish I could see all those pictures developed. Would you come our way, my American friend? Be one with us. Santiago. Enjoy yourselves. Mm. You coming? I ate before the play. I understand you supplement your diet. I feast human every other night. It's my way. You're not gonna. I am now where I most want to be. Nice night. Mm. This is fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. I like how you withhold. Cautious, maybe. It's alluring. It's practiced. I find myself thinking, what is in there? Been thinking the same about you. Been thinking about you off. Oh, crap. You spitting game right now. Is that Claudia? She is something, you're Claudia. Spark in the dark. Pity she was made so young. <laughs> I'd say. I know. Imagine her in a body equal to her mind. She's managed to it. Particularly skilled at blocking her thoughts. You must work harder on that. I could help you hone that skill. That'd be great. Good, because I do believe I felt some trepidation when the name Lestat was uttered. Who? My dear American friend, who thinks of me often and who has dominated my mind ever since I laid eyes upon him. Don't. I don't know the particulars of your acquaintance with him. You can tell me when you're ready. But a few of the coven can be volatile and quite unforgiving when lied to. Mm. Shut your mind if you hear his name again. Also, may I suggest you never visit Roger Albert and Associates again? That sort of inquiry can open all sorts of trouble. As you suggest, Maître. Armand. Maître is a coven endearment. Armand for you. Wow, I like that it's we're just like doing it. I never want to hunt alone again, I never want to leave. Oh, that freaking house getting burned down is a sin. It was 1556. I felt his presence before. Oh my god. Okay, so I see that we're gonna meet him in the next episode. I think okay, so I remember in an interview Sam Reed saying you're gonna you're gonna get Lestat's backstory through someone else's perspective. So obviously it's Armand's. I just got chills. This has been wild. Like I never felt vampire lore feel so real. So I'm just eating this up and wow like the fact that they were killing the, on the stage like that and they think it's a show that is just so twisted all right guys i am so excited for the next episode let me hear it if i maybe felt like i didn't pick up on something so excited i'm about to watch the inside the episode on patreon right now but yeah i will see you guys in the next one it's been
Hey Slayers, hey Vams, welcome back to episode 3, No Pain, Interview with the Vampire. Loving this series so much. You guys in the comments below really excite me and seem to be enjoying my reaction, which means so much to me. If you'd like to watch the uncut reaction, check out my Patreon, link will be below. I reacted like the stay tuned in next weeks or whatever. Uh, I just wanted to touch on me saying that I think I like this Claudia actress more and I probably do but I think it's more so I think I'm just liking the character of Claudia more in this season because in season one she was very much annoying child vibes which I mean worked and I was here for it and not even saying she's annoying but like you get the vibe her character has matured this season and that's probably what I like most but I do just like the vibe of this actress too and it just it works so much with the matureness because last season that actress brought the teen vibe but yeah i'm hoping we get lestat more in this episode i want to say we do if i'm remembering the next week on thing but yeah let's just get into it okay stop no pain no game period Ooh, are we gonna get some backstory with him that was pretty intense when he called out Miss Staten Island Queen, Alice. You're Daniel Malloy, I've read your books. A reader, now prepare yourself for disappointment. I see they've separated you from your laptop. They? Off your game a touch yesterday. Perhaps they believe you've been humbled. Clever on their own, now there's two of them. Of course, there was always two of them. I work for another watchful shop, the name of which has not come up in your conversations with them. You have me bugged, or you want me to think you do? We were tracking 900 of them a month ago. We're tracking 1,600 now. Got a name? You're not the first to attempt this, Mr. Malloy. The name's Raglan James. <laughs> Files have been placed with proper encryption on your comically vulnerable laptop. We live here a fan of intelligence of officers. We've got a live one. How many people in the world know what you know, Rashid? I suspect just enough to help them stay hidden. No. They are peaceful beings. They dream Him floating looks us. so cool. It was wrong of Louis to enter your memories yesterday. You were invited here as a guest. Cell phones. You were rude, but he crossed the line. Artificial intelligence crunching improbable data. I offer How do you hide from the cloud? Interesting. We should probably wait for him. Nah. Probably. He'll awaken when the sun sleeps. We know the drill, right? Nightly. And sometimes you've watched that kill on the local news. You've never been easier to distract. You're at the height of willful ignorance. We exploit it. This is, was, the start's prophetic vision. I gotta look up that word. We'll start to lean, core. Yes. We were shadows crouching behind stone prior to his transformation. I'm listening. Same. That's my job, right? Me too. It was 1556 when oh. the Roman coven sent me to lead the shambolic Paris coven. A face from the subcontinent, French, my fourth and poorest language. I had never led anything in my life. We called ourselves the children of darkness. We lived in squalor. And though I managed to maintain a discipline and humility for 239 years as Satan's fool. By the time Robespierre was beheaded, I was, by any measure, failing. Our ways were finished. We were embers on a waning pyre. The start was the wind to scatter. I really gotta meet this guy. Sired by one of my deserters, Magnus, this was something new, something I hadn't felt before. I would love to see Lestat turn into a vampire, like being sired. Lord, no vampire shall ever reveal his true nature to a mortal and let that mortal That live. should be a thing. And here he was. He's already a vampire a there. In right? front of 500 yeah. mortals a night. But he made a remarkable recovery shortly thereafter. Could you explain his hand feeding the audience they were all in love with him he had that effect on everyone he was a natural entirely unnatural using the dark gift for what his vanity it was heresy i had to bring him under my control by any means 
Je sais que tu peux m'entendre, mon enfant. Je peux prendre soin de toi. Je peux t'apprendre ce qu'il ne t'a pas appris. Viens à moi. Viens à moi. Encore plus en mer. What's that, a cutie? I followed him for weeks. His rejections only inflamed me. And the longer Bad I boy. allowed him to exist outside the coven, the more unsettled my children became. They watched in secret, fascinated by his disregard for the laws I told them could never be broken. Of course. He took a mortal lover. Oh wow, world stop. Carry on. Wow, it's interesting to see Lestat not have the power. Je suis Armand. Je suis le chef de ton clan. Vicky. Oh, that's Nicholas. Ah, uh, okay. Je suis heureux que tu sois venu. Il est sain et sauf. Il est sain. Il ne se réveille pas. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You led him there so he could destroy it. His words had been my thoughts for half a century. If it had come from me, they wouldn't have believed it. Dieu, Satan. My children left. They roamed the streets of Paris, wreaking havoc with mortals. Some could not reconcile the life I had made for them with the life Lestat had told them was possible. They went mad, ended themselves. I was going to say, I feel like those vamps did not last the too long. Thing. Really like the hair pushed back. Oh, everything is so vampire vibes. Love the music. Who are we gonna see like the start of the coven? The origin of the coven? Oh, now they're gonna have to teach the performance again. Or maybe that was the end of the leg. Regardez comme ils sont immobiles. Ils croient vraiment que c'est une pièce de théâtre. Des clous sur le This is like the start of the vampire show. Allons-y. Ici, maintenant. C'est une leur spécial. Ils nous observent. Austin, je t'aime. Oui. Oh, we were in love. Or were we? That's it. They went at it on the floor. Armand taught Lestat the mind gift. And a week later, Lestat was gone. We went to open the theater the next night. He was met by the lawyer, Pierre Roger I. He abandoned Nikki. He abandoned Armand. He abandoned the coven. Lestat is, was, and will always be for Lestat. Never say I love you to a raging narcissist. And I locked away those words for another 150 years. And then he arrived and shattered that lock. This is what frightened me most about you. Good morning, Louis, by the way. BT Zabs. He's in Copenhagen, working in a car factory. He hates his maker, he takes the boat back to America. 
Copenhagen is such a vampire vibe. I love it. Fun fact, when I went to Copenhagen, when I was like looking into like what to do, I love graveyards. I love going to them and seeing mm -hmm. the aesthetic and vibe and the beauty. And it was suggested to go to this specific graveyard. And, and it was so number one beautiful it's a literally a hangout for the copenhags people were like lounging tanning you literally like go through the bush and there's just beautiful people just laying out in the sun there was this really hot guy with a cute dog i remember and i was like oh my god i love this so much <laughs> Yeah, just fun fact, uh, people in Copenhagen hang out in cemeteries. You're the one who said he was our maker. I pride to keep us safe. You might be having a good time now, but there's danger if they find out we lie. I'm on. The door was ajar. Um, if he you had to have windows, heard that whole conversation now. Welcome to our lair. Shouldn't you be in the lobby? I got three minutes. Did I give you consent to look me in the eye, Puce? No, Major. My fault. I was keeping her. Coven has grand designs for her. Show me where you go at night. Interesting. Unconscious death oh is God. the fate of all mortals. Oh, uh, we got a guy up here tonight. This is what's called the wet room. I'm glad to Gary Duff. It's your job now. This is the money box. And this is the rat box. You put your freshie in the body box, you close the lid, take the safety off the funnel, and Bagosh and Bagora, the rats do the dirty for you. Awesome. Yeah, On Wednesdays, these rats are smart. It. They can go quiet. You open up the wrong box, they go running up the stairs into the green room, into the theater, and Metro punishes the entire coven. What are these? Burial vaults. Coven members pass, mostly heretics and lawbreakers. What laws? Until the ceremony, please. <gasps> they found the heart. Rats love hearts. Would rats really eat people like I that? Want There's much talk of your camera in the coven. Wow, They're such a right. vibe. They say you're mad in love with humanity. They should ask me if they're curious. How could they when you're so rarely present? I saw enough theater back home for several lifetimes. No offense. None taken. Nothing worse than being dragged around unwillingly by a companion. This was Bruce? Yeah, Bruce. The opera-loving motorcyclist. Yeah. You should talk with Twan Pham about cameras. He's very learned. Perhaps the two of you... I'm could... not joining the cover. <laughs> Trying to save yourself, bitch. You got Claudia? She's happy. I'm happy. For me? Not much of a joiner. Mm, yes, you have made that clear enough. So if that's why you're here... It is not the whole reason I'm here. No, no. It's definitely not the whole reason he's here. <laughs> I like you. I like you. Isn't that obvious? <laughs> it's interesting. You really must work on blocking your thoughts. It's interesting the way that Ahmad is kind of being nice about him joining the coven, where Lestat was kind of not given a choice, and Ahmad was super angry about that. So it's nice to see growth even in our vampires. Bruce, I sense him now in your mind. <laughs> Maybe I'll let you into my head on purpose. Huh? Oh, that's, that's a thought. nice, mon cher. Lovely. I mean, he, uh, he must be doing a really good job because Lestat is deep in the mind. Thank you, thank you. Oh, love the little look around before, that's sexy. If we were the only vampires in Paris. For a second I felt like we were. The coven is envious of your independence. It's a problem. You outside, looking in? Your problem, not mine. You want me, I'm here. But I'm here, here, in the streets. Cafes, the salons, the bars, ripping hot jazz. Whole place feels like it's born again. Everyone's asking, what's next? What's next? Not, where were you? Or, be careful. I had enough of that back home. I'm out here finding myself. Then what room is there left for me, if you have not found yourself? Hmm. Well, there's room. We were circling each other. I was putting him in a very difficult position. I was supposed to be luring him in, but the opposite was happening. I started spending less time at the theater and more nights strolling the boulevards with Louis. The conversation was when my mind was touched by Armand. I became deeply excited and driven to form new conclusions about myself and vampiric life in the abstract. I'm getting distracted. What, what is he doing? Something Daniel. wrong, Daniel? 
the computer. Um, something you were saying uh, made me think of. Um, what? Think what? Flew out of my head there. It's gone. Mm, they could find so it. So where, right? where's where's Claudia at this point? At this stage of things. A simping. How do you do it? Okay, we're not gonna forget that, Mister Daniel. How do you get them to accept death? And can't the vamps read the mind? I'll never hear you in the front row with your head down. Uh huh. Yeah, First what's thing with I this do, no eye contact I now? Freak open the lid. Is have a chat with my scene partner for the night. Muck about in their heads. Find their Mucking shame. about? In short, an actor prepares. Who's Francis Norton? The best Iago to walk the York Royal. That was you. And what was your shabby life in Chicago before the vampire Bruce? I was in Springfield, selling little trinkets at the train station. You were an orphan. Could say that. And an orphan again. We have that in common. I thought nature made you. Why would you say that? Estelle told me you were the youngest, but you're also the strongest. Figured you got the best blood. No. My maker lies in the walls downstairs. Maître, put him there. Put Qatar? Interesting. He's the youngest. Wow. He deserved his death, and his blood was exquisite and good mimic, and I can fly. And you kill with panache. And your dearly departed maker, what gifts did he bequeath the Moppet Vampiress? He taught me how to lie well. <laughs> <laughs> Louis, who's from Chicago, yes? Just outside it. Gary, Indiana. Stick with it, Poos. These lies are just lying and building up. I'm evil. Evil as any vampire who ever lived. I've killed over and over, and I will do it again. Why does that make you as evil as any vampire? It's not as logical as you're saying, but it's dark. But if it's evil dark, but just a game. Jean Paul. Ah, this is my friend Louis. Bonjour. Now. Bonjour. Bonjour. To kindly shut up so I can hear the music. Huh? Your hmm. argument assumes God exists. I don't know that God exists. You. Is it a start? Come to me, Heather. Louis? There he is again. I'm sorry. I was with Bruce for 30 years. Bruce, how long are we going to play games, Louis? Yeah, like he has to know. Listen, before you say it, let me tell you a little something about 18th century Armand. Lestat. Oh dear. Finally. Lestat was my companion in America. And where is he now? Mm. Still a bookbinder's wife. He knows. Do you know where he is? I want you to say it. Thank God. I killed him. Well, that's debatable. I've known for months. I've just waited for you to say it. And that means what? Interesting. You gotta kill me now? Yeah, what does that mean? What does that mean for Claudia? Did she help you kill him? Yes. No. You broke one of the great laws. I don't know any great laws. Go away. Calm down. Go down you! Louis? Uh-oh. So, Ahmad knew that it was a Bruce in his head. He knows that Lasat's in his head because he saw it, he heard it. Which is like... Okay, like, they knew it. That's not real him, right? No, it's not. I'm still the only one you trust. Is this really Show happening? Me. The only way you know. No, it can't know. be. No. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Yeah, no. Oh, okay, he wasn't there. Okay. He was alone now. We could take a night off. Oh, my head hurts from that. Uh, you're probably right. Probably let it go after we said he, he burned himself. No, we should do this. We should be real careful, like you said. <sighs> Louis! Uh, Louis. Three of us were a little gang for a while. Till one day he set himself on fire and shocked the shit out of us. Did it with a lighter. <clears throat> Held up to a rag hanging out his gas tank. Thought we'd be on that road for a long time. His last words were, had enough of your gloomy faces. Good. I like how comfy they make the coffin. Lestat could have said, put your coffin on a boat, go to Paris. There's a beautiful oh. coffin there, I know, because I fucking founded it. But he said the vampires out there are vicious. I should tell you something. And then I met the motherfucker, and yeah. Tell her. Lestat was right. It was better when he broke my bones, crammed me under the floorboards. I fought him, kicked him, clawed him. 
spit in. And that was fine. It was when he had me pinned. And he'd tell me he loved me before, during, and after. Before, during, after. That fucked me up. <laughs> One day, he said, had enough of your gloomy face. Drove off on a motorbike. Thought, might as well go home, get Louie, head to Europe. They're gonna let me join the carbon ender this week. It'd be nice if you come. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Oh, yeah, eh? I don't know if he'll be joining, but actually, I mean, if he's going to be with... Excuse the interruption. It's very interesting. Hold on. The lawyer. Hold on, uh, Rashid, Rashad. I'm curious where Ahmad's my head is at right now, because if he knew for months, like, it's, like, he's not going to hurt them, and he obviously likes Louis, it's just interesting that he just let him go. Like, what's going on? The lawyer for the buyers. He's ready for the teleconference. The lawyer? It's about the bacon trip to Would you mind, Daniel? I'll take a piss. Get that word. Mr. Phillips, yes? Hello. This is the owner, Mr. Villar. What is going on with this? I don't get it. Theater. Wait, I can't read this. Victims. The reverse on the right panel is inscribed Petersfield. An x-ray of the fury on that panel was revealed the face of a man. Ironic part of my class. Ward Carter. Who are you? Uh, I like the Green Reaper weapon. The vampires are real. They're gonna kill us all. They're going to kill us what all! What is this? No, 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 no. Let him speak, sir. Look who's graced us with his presence. What an honor. He's here. It's both of the girl. Did you read Lamond today? I have not. A mutilated body found in a park three nights ago. Crossed skull, puncture wounds on neck, chest, and shoulder blade. Was that you? Of course not. Your girl here at that particular park. Do you speak plainly? You've had your time to recruit. It's not happening. He will be the ruin of us. Do what must be done. Are you making demands? The coven would like to know what you intend to do with him. Beyond comping him a The fact that they could talk so. during this is insane. And do you speak for the coven? Like, I'm having a hard time multitasking what Daniel's doing, what Louis was talking to the lawyer about, now this, the performance, them talking. So Santiago is a, is alluring to Claudia. I don't want Santiago to not like Claudia. Santiago is alluring to Louis and Claudia committing the, the murder. Which was after curfew. Okay, this is okay. Sorry. Lots going on. After the ceremony, after she's committed herself to us, then I'll do what must be done. Does that satisfy? Did then my makeup for father. Does that satisfy? It does, Maître. All respect. Your first night over the footlights, how did it feel? Like home. Come, I have something for you. Okay, I'm just gonna say this now. I was gonna save it to the end. So I mentioned I think I know something about Claudia in like my first reaction episode. I was watching a Kirsten Dunst thing because she played the original Claudia in the movie. So, I mean, I guess it's obvious that Claudia is going to die at some point. I just don't know when. And by being obvious, because in present time... She's obviously not here. Okay, no. We obviously know that she is dead. I'm kind of thinking she might die in the season, which is going to suck, pun intended. But there's no way that Ahmad's the one to do it. Please, guys, no spoilers. Don't tell me. I really have no idea. I guess I could see it being Santiago, and I could see Louis killing him. But I just, I can't imagine it being a mod because how could Louis be with a mod then? Oh my god, this is gonna be rough. Sit. What is it, Major? That was good news. May it remind you of your humble beginnings. That's really you cute. Have yes, Major. Come. The five laws. That the youngest. Read in the youngest. Santiago? Oh my god, his arm so muscle. God so damn. Shall we have a walk? Okay, cool. Let's talk. 
the five laws. We need to hear this. I wonder, like, really interesting that Ahmad's okay with knowing them both lying. I guess he really does love Louis, clearly, because we know. If the crew knew, oh. it would not be good. Law one. one. Each cavern must have its leader. Will you abide? I will. Law two. The dark gifts must never be given to the crippled, the maimed, or to children. Who won't leave Paris? Where would you go? I was thinking London. No vampire must commit to writing the history of the vampires. You exposed us. Should I allow the London coven such exposure? No vampire shall ever reveal his or her true nature to a mortal and let the mortal live. You revealed yourself to the law firm of Roger and Herbert. They do business with vampires. No vampire may ever destroy another vampire. Except that the Coven Master has the power of life and death over all his flock. I will not harm you. Those were your first words to me. My maker was a vampire named Bruce, who's the start de Lyon Corps, your first words to the Coven. But all those who have broken these five laws, will you abide by this fifth and final law? I will. Okay, clean slate, no though. More. So she just shouldn't do anything new and it should all be Take my head off if you're gonna do it. I saw what fire does. I don't wanna go out that way. Any other requests? Look after Claudia. She doesn't need looking after. She won't be here very long. What? You made her at 14. A most turbulent chemistry. Her mind as fierce as it is now will not endure. It will break apart in time. You don't know her. I don't have to. Oh, there's that outfit you didn't from think the trailer. We were going to leave. A star, Claudia. A new play for you and the ladies. My baby loves windows. I play your governess. And I play your mother. Your mother. And I play the little girl. You'll be their little birdie for the next 50 years. Yes. Yes. Is she mad about that? Because, like, she wants to be a woman. A dead one. A savage god. This is so cool that he has, like, magic. Why is it, Louis? Those with the most power are often the weakest. Don't give up on her. Tell us she's beautiful. How are we ending here? Better not end. I meant that episode. You walked me home. Did I? That's my building over there. Did he break you, Louis? Are you broken? No. I think he is broken, but carry him? he can be fixed. I don't know if I... Like Taylor Swift, she if can I do can. it with a broken heart, so can Louie. You will. I did. You will him? A century or so ago? Yesterday? Well... What is time to a vampire? So they really have this crazy bond. Oh. Are we going up upstairs? Wee wee. Wee wee. Are you inviting me in? Depends. Are you gonna kill me? Clearly not, babe. But great question, I guess. Uh, Okay, so I'm going to react to you next week and inside the episode on Patreon, and then I'll be back with my final thoughts. I'm chills, chills, chills. Chills and thrills. I want you more than anything in the world is the next episode. Love the inside of the episode. I love the inside of an episode like in any show that I watch. I think it's so fascinating and interesting. And I love the creative process. Guys, all I can think about is how much I want to like read the books. And by read the books, I'll probably listen to the Audible. But I know that you guys like that I don't know anything. But I think going into season three, it would kind of be cool if like, now I'm like with you guys and like kind of went on this growth journey. I don't know. Let me know though if you guys are like, don't read the book. What I will be doing though after season two is watching the movie. So I would watch the movie and then I would begin the books in my free time whenever I can. I'm just so interested in Anne Rice. Like I almost want to know like all her books now. Like I'm becoming such a fan. 
I cannot believe that she passed right when the show started. I'm so sad she didn't get to see how amazing of a job this show is. As someone that didn't even read the book, it's clearly so good. I think what's so interesting about this episode, the juxtaposition, Claudia struggling with like maturing and now she's gonna be playing a kid for 50 years in the show. She got everything and then she gets hit with that character. I just wish she wouldn't take it like that because it is acting. So she's just playing the part and like I don't, like I wish I can tell her like separate the part you're playing with like your real self. It's just so interesting to me. I hope you guys are liking my reaction. I'm obsessed. I will see you guys really soon with the next one. Hey Slayers, hey Vamps, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're reacting to you episode 4, I Want You More Than Anything in This World, Interview with a Vampire. Okay, so this is going to be Claudia's big debut. I'm curious to see the conflicting emotions that she's going through with like playing the child and like her whole wanting to be a woman and being taken more seriously. From watching the inside the episode in the last episode, it shared that Ahmad is like fully planning on killing Louis in his mind because he has like no choice interested to see where their relationship goes in this one. I'm assuming they've made the love now and their relationship is really progressing. So there's a lot of two sides to like every situation that's going on. Like Claudia being conflicted with her thing, Ahmad being conflicted with his thing and Louis being conflicted with his thing. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a less the slot in this episode as we, I feel like are gonna focus more on the things I just talked about. Could be wrong. I wonder Santiago's vibe. I don't know if he wanted them both dead or Claudia specifically after like the killing or whatever, but it's also messed up how Santiago's reading her the five laws yet he like wants her dead. And one of the laws is like killing a vampire, but I guess to him it's like they broke that but she wasn't a part of the coven yet so it's really not fair she should get a fresh start oh my god Ahmad fully knows about Lestat now I want Claudia to know about Ahmad knowing but I don't know if we're gonna get there I guess we shall see if you'd like to watch the uncut reaction check out my patreon link will be below I react to the trailer for the next episode and inside the episode over on patreon as well if you'd like the YouTube edit I appreciate you guys so much and let's get into it here goes nothing Really cool makeup. There's just one thing that makes her sad. In fact, I think it makes her mad. That's cool. When she's locked away and the sunshine calls her out to play. Say, where the wild and the trees are. Those fans are back for her opening day. And how did she like being infantilized? Coven life requires a letting go she of the self. Issues she with yeah. it. Uh, one at a time, boys. Hello. <laughs> Birdie loves the breeze. <laughs> Bravo. The play was a hit. An unmitigated hit. How did the coven take it? Mostly with good words. They were Oh, I hate this song like I hate my mortal father. My dream. Hey. Oh my God, they're dressing. Little birdie Lou is caught in the trap, but she's flapping her wings. Oh, she's over it. Oh, she's over it. I have lost my passion for work on stage. I think I prefer. Backstage work. Discipline Claudia for bumping into the scenery, but let Louis run wild. Wait, right, I was gonna say, so since it's 500 shows, this has gone way in the future. So it's interesting that Ahmad just did nothing. I was assuming he was supposed to kill like Louis already. So I can see probably Santiago being like really bothered or maybe with the success of the show because of Claudia, they're like pushing it back or something. Are you companions? Yes. No. Oh. It's whatever you want to call it. An affair? 
a romance? Companion works. It's not the word I would use. You don't understand the danger I risk every night for you. I keep your secret. Oh, I'm the secret. Do you notice how hot the room gets when you two talk about the secret? I love you. I love you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Are you schizophrenic, Louie? No. And you weren't feeling Lestat in the room? No. And I was not aware he was as present as it seems he was. But looking back on it now, I can understand it. No. Very understanding. Were you two the only ones who survived the fire at the theater? You weren't provided any information about the fire in our archives. He could do his own research. Well, you'd only do her if she had a paper. So gross. Oh, the smell. What are you writing, baby Lou? Why are you lurking? Honoring the blood. Okay, so she's fully aware of his attitude. Now, no vampire must commit to writing the history of the vampire. It's just random thoughts as a habit. Read me some. It's private. Celeste and Estelle hate me. I hear their petty insults. Estelle is so far up Celeste's ass that she doesn't need a coffin to sleep in anymore. I do hope there's something juicy in there. A few things about you. <laughs> and thank you for the kind words you wrote about me. How do you know what I wrote? I read it just now, right in front of you. <sighs> Interesting. Oh, that's the lady that you sold gave me a the dress. dress. I'm an actress now. Ah, okay. Théâtre des Vampires. You haven't I've seen it. <laughs> Suppose I can't come off party. Everyone's falling over Picasso, but not me. Not Louis Dulac. See, now that I've wriggled inside your voice, pulled it on like a costume, you don't sound all that Chicago to me. Outside Chicago. Well, I want to test a theory. Say, New Orleans or a buffoon. <laughs> Is Louis older than Santiago? Take your time. Ooh. Come on. Uh huh. I said enough. Good boy. Louis. Come back. He doesn't listen like that. So are you a dealer or are you an artiste, Mr. Dulac? I like to think I'm maybe both. You're using a roller flex and always at night. <laughs> it's his aesthetic. That's in there by mistake. I didn't mean to bring that one. We end the camera straight, but yeah, something fragile about this man. Oh, if you knew the man, you know he was anything but. A happy mistake then. You caught the soul he is hiding. So. <laughs> Are you saying I don't have the eye? No, no. I think you do have the eye. Watch your mouth, yeah. mister. I have the eye. We know it when we see it. You see it in yours? Only five prints left. You should buy one from me. Sit on it. Sell it to Sally Man when he moves into photography. You get a good price. Fuck you! I mean, this one with the, the fountain and the cup. It's not mine. That's Fred Stein. Dear, this is a Stein. I know. Why are all these in there? Don't ask me. We've been staring at them. I didn't put these here. In Probably the... Rashid confused them. School, you told a girl you'd only do her if she had a paper bag over her head. She agreed and you did. This is embarrassing. I'm a little confused. <laughs> What does she have to say? This is interesting. I would have never expected to see her again from like the other episode. So I what's know, going my on French here? French is terrible. When you went out the window and you cracked your neck, yeah, that was good. I should kill whoever wrote it. You're needed in the wet room. I'll be there in a minute. Hey, you want to ride home? Tell me one thing wrong about this photo. Well, for one thing, I'm not in it. Please. You mm. can't be real for a second. I was wondering if you wanted to take one of our walks. Huh? So you spend the day Absolutely. and night in the dress? Is this some acting process? It's a punishment. I do not enjoy using my powers like that, Louis. 
Seemed like he did. Crazy how much Lestat is affecting him. Like, this is insanity. He's literally always there. I would go insane. I don't need you flying in like Vampire Papa. I did poorly, but I did. He looks so pretty the way he flies, if that makes sense. I don't like you parading around in that baby doll dress either. Are we gonna get Lestat for real, for real in this season? I wonder. Don't tell me. In fact, the donor in the title was my maker. The canvas painted in my maker's studio. I'd love to see his origin story as becoming a vampire, too. This is Amadeo. He's 20 years here. My maker's purchase. His renaming me. His reluctance to share the dark gift. I served him with all my heart. Is that him? Set fire to my maker. Sorry to disturb you, Maître. The front because your chest's so I don't have much. Yes, you don't have more than you did two years ago. Same shape. Two somehow. years later. I was gonna say, maybe it's not as far as ahead as I thought. You have eyes like my windows. Ran away. One dark thing after another. Damn. Maybe I seek it out. Maybe I chase after it. Why? I don't know. But it's something to think about. There's something broken in me. You got blood on your eyes. Blood through. And before you tell me to make friends with the Carbon, I can't because they've all turned in with too long ago and you know it. And the friend you made, you will not see again, yes? No. Know your role, Cesp. Or join your maker in oblivion. Armand knows all about Lestat. How long has he known? Can't believe you didn't tell her. Hold on. You could trust Armand. What about me and you? Unhappy. Comes to Coven, you're beaming like the whole world went technical. He hasn't betrayed chasing our it. trust or you told our secret. You chasing it, except he just threatened me with it. No, it doesn't sound like him. Love makes you stupid. Let me guess, he's your companion, finally. Well, good for f***ing you. You and him picked another one over me. You picked the Coven. You left me. Go sit in your choice, sister. The wilderness that is our daughter. Shall we hunt? Bird floor, balcony. Keep her watching. So cool. Santiago is really brave for doing this. Ahmad is going to kill you. Hunt later. Yeah. Oh wow, it's all wet. Hey. You summoned him. Yeah. You're gonna break it off with him, aren't you? Yeah. Uh oh. How will he react to this? Why this suit? It's my favorite on you. Really? We also like your hair pushed back. Well, it's quite nice, I suppose. Is he disappearing? You might not know this, but I had the tailor inscribe your initials. Oh, is this him leaving for good? Is he ending it with him and Ahmad kind of thing? Right here. Oh, that's a really cool effect. Would always creep. That was really cool how it faded out. His voice. I'm not sure I can keep obedience any longer. You should think to leave. No. I'm staying in Paris with you, and everyone's gonna be happy. So he's not breaking up with them? Santiago wants to be coven leader. Give him the job. Never. Fine. Then throw him a bone at least. Claudia, don't you like sense the stuff? They'll beg you back. And that's where you can decide if you want it back. Or you want something else. I want you. Wow, that was so cool. Twan. Sitting on a bench, having a smoke. Meet back at the theatre and stagger your arrival. Yes, Maître. <laughs> Is that what makes you fascinating? I feel like this must be flashing back to like the first interview, right? Don't be afraid. Just start the tape. Oh, you shoot. You were always a vampire, were you? With a boy. Things got heated with a boy. 
Okay, my biggest takeaway. Like, I had a love connection vibe with the shop owner and Claudia, but I don't know if it's in a romantic way, especially with the age of it all. Age, because obviously Claudia is older, but stuck in a 14-year-old body. Is it 14? I think it is. Alrighty, guys. I'm so ready for the next episode. I'm gonna try to get it out ASAP. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Please comment below things you feel like I missed. Fun facts that you can tell me. No spoilers. Yeah, I will see you guys on the next one. It's Billy. Hello Slayers, hello Vamps, welcome or welcome back. Today we're reacting to episode 5 of Don't Be Afraid, Just Start the Tape. So I recognized in the comments that apparently this is a really, apparently, this is a really big episode and I am so excited. I think we're going to get a lot of Daniel backstory to this episode, but first, if you'd like to watch the uncut reaction, check out my Patreon, link will be below, but if you prefer the YouTube edit, Let's get into it. Thank you guys so much. You guys are really seem to enjoy my vampire reactions. And I honestly can't wait to finish this and start listening to the audiobooks. I am so here for the lore. I'm writing my own vampire book. It's in the works. <laughs> Been in the works since 2016. But maybe like listening to this will inspire me to really start writing my own. Obviously, it'll be way different, but definitely need a previously on moment. I might say some more stuff. Oh, and for the Patreon, I do react to the behind the episodes and the trailer for the next episode over on Patreon as well. Would you like to join us? Oh, the major thing now I'm remembering, of course. I think I literally turned my head or something right when RJ's character was introduced. So I now understand, I believe there was also a YouTube comment clarifying, RJ hacked Daniel's laptop to feed him like some more information, but Daniel is trying to keep that on the low because this is obviously confidential stuff. And also I believe RJ is going to become a bigger character. Like he might like be in... The books as well well i'm def i guess he definitely is but i think there's going to be more to come with him is what i'm getting don't be afraid just start the tape we had it figured out didn't we what we needed from the other our proper roles dreamy kind of ballad july 1949 the reading room it's interesting that daniel doesn't remember so was he just hypnotized you're circling something you're getting close to something you want distance from ah is this Malik? It is, sir. If you'll excuse us. Your friend here is a hot-headed young man. Tell him to buy a Bugatti. Okay. What was that? Armand rarely eats. So when he does, he prefers to hunt for it. Does Malik know he's lunch? Malik knows if he makes it on foot to Jumeirah Mosque by evening, he'll be paid enough crypto to, well, most anything he wants. And when he can't find an arms dealer dumb enough to answer his ad? Someone half in love with an East will death. His methodology is never violent, I assure you. Mm -hmm. Ooh, he did something to Daniel. Everything in its right place before the theater burns down. In middle school, you stole your dad's Playboy magazine. In high school, you told a girl you'd only do her Rest. if she had a paper bag Daniel. over her head. She agreed, and you did it even. Daniel, how long is your boyfriend's lunch again? An hour, two at most. I was going over my notes last night, something he said. This time, I won't save your life. Armand saved you from me in 1973. Yeah, you bit me, I blacked out. 500 years. How often has Armand spared a life? Hmm. Armand could see I was partial to you. Armand preserves my happiness. Okay, sure. Let's go with that. Uh -huh. um, our first interview... What's the question, Daniel? We capped to your place in Divisadero. You paid. That's right. Did they have a sexy we... moment? Take us back now. I like what you've uh, done with the place. Mm. Getting some... Bail bondsman, post divorce vibes. I own a few of these places. Are you uh 
real estate mogul? Oh, I'm a lot of things. So you climb in it, close the lid, and bang? Sometimes. So am I the first guy that you brought back here? The fifth? This is odd that this is feeling flirty. Cocaine's a fun boy's drug. I'm not fun. I prefer you like this. Fulfilling my side of the social I know contract. he's on coke, but Do you normally he's completely your different You're from sure the future, Daniel. What's his motive? Does he so, remember this? We didn't. <sighs> no. <laughs> I really thought we did. Do you want to now? You offered something off the menu. Louis de Point de Lac. I'm a vampire. Okay. <laughs> Are those fangs? So this is his interaction first, finding out vampires are real, via Louis. Are you out of your mind? Who could have a vampire in front of them and be coked out? I mean, maybe it takes the edge off. I wouldn't now. Don't be afraid. Just start the tape. That's what the episode title says. Whew. First question. Yeah? You weren't always a vampire, were you? I was a 33-year-old man when I became a vampire. I saw in YouTube comments that, like, that these actors are too old to play these characters. I'm assuming in the books they're, like, younger, but I personally love that they're in their 30s. True Blood, like, I love that they're older, too. I'm happy they're not in, like, their 20s. I feel like it weirdly cheapens it. I'm sure it's different for the book, but visually, I think... It's smarter that they're targeting an older vibe. I have some outstanding questions about 1973. Like, why you talk to me in the first place? Yeah, curiosities. Yeah, why him? I want to know what happened between us. I don't know how Daniel didn't start here. Okay. What's the next thing you remember? Good question. You eviscerating Lestat. It's 73 and he's acuity, still obsessed with Lestat. <laughs> like, he <laughs> loves yes, venting about Lestat right now. He's getting all fired up. Baker, but you figured that out. Just by then, you paid a biblical price for your first love. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. No, that was a stupid boy. Very See? astute. What, you were just gonna end it? I mean, what about life? Like, joy rides, cancer, and all of that till the death rattle. I mean, we gotta carry all this shit, and you had to take it out, and you were just gonna throw it away? You've overstepped now. You were given the gift, and I've been hearing you bitch the night away. Of Give it to me. I won't waste it. Think we have an energy, you and me? I could be your Lestat, your Claudia. But better. I mean, I got a little bit of both of them in me, plus a few things they don't. This he wants to be a vampire. That's the role I've told you. Is what you asked for, boy. Yeah, well, you don't know what human life is like. Stand the meaning of your own story. I overreacted. Not sure that killing me was a totally warranted response to my idiocy. I took a scoop out of your throat. All the drugs in your blood, it all went back into death. I have a surprise for you. Kind of a curveball, which will seem like less of a surprise. He doesn't more, more like of a damn bush. He's not going to like this. Ambush. Is that our original interview? Turns out I had a copy saved in the cloud. You're a liar. Dad. So are you, Louie. <laughs> that wet thud. That's Armand saving me. Things got heated with the boy. I was at home picking lint off the sofa. I said to join us. Once again, I'm here with mop and mindlessness to clean it up. What, I'll clean it up? No, you make the mess and I clean it up. Like but fine. revealing our nature to a reporter. You met in a bar 10 hours ago. What if it was published? I was having some we don't have fun. Enough to fear I was in the mood. It's of weird anything. that, like, this is the 70s and... Louis seems so much more immature than when, like, we're back in Paris in the 40s, late 40s. Like, what is going on here? What happened? When you already passed out on the floor next to him, Louis. You are so boring. And here come the drugs. Colorless, beigest pillow. The 10 hours with that boy were more exciting, more fascinating than decades with you. Dang. There it is. I guess he just like half blank, had enough. half apocalyptic look. But am I 
as boring as the blather committed onto the ferric tapes of your fascinating boy. So hard to beat me. Picking lint it's so off hard the to sofa. Kill humans. <laughs> I can feel Got a point. This is so Everyone interesting because he was asleep. Okay, this. let's wake the boy up and let's try you. Let's start. 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 I talk shit about him the whole time. Obsessed. The name unuttered in our home for 23 years. Yeah, like, shut the fuck up. Until it was pounding in my brain. And you threw her name around just for cover, but it always circled back to him. I loved her. But she didn't love you. Claudia? Not like he did. Not like I have. I know! I think that's you running out of the room. Slam. Footsteps. Second door slams. Metal door. Armand calls your name. He runs after you. Metal door opens to scream. Tape runs out. Frank. Where does Armand follow you, Louis? It's morning. He went out of the room. Metal door. Metal door. Oh, like roof access? So cool. Oh my god. That looks so sick. I walked into the sun. You remember that? I'm remembering it now. Let me ask you a really loaded question, Louie. And then what? I just got chills. My skin burnt to the color of pitch. Oof. Char coming oh no. off me. The pain. Oh. What if he just drank blood, though? Wouldn't it heal? I walked out into the sun. Pieces of my life, gone. Oh. I knew who I was without those pieces. Wait, sidestep the big picture. Get the story straight first. Oh, I really can't look at this. Like, thinking of it sticking to the sheets. Oh, my God. Uh. What is it? I'm sorry. Meaningless word. Meaningless. He's alive. The fascinating boy. Don't. He's just fine. Don't. Oh, he's fine. You're fine. This uh, is fine. Oh. You two kept me in that apartment for how long? I can remember a few things. There's someone else there. A cellophane corpse on the floor. And finds the recorder under the TV. Brings it to the table. He ejects the tape. Flips it over. Presses play. Plays the... I hear my voice on the recorder. You see, they represented the greatest loss to the stock because they stood on the threshold of maximum possibility. Rest. I'd be so done with Lestat if I was a mod. He's commandeered your body. Rise. <laughs> I don't want... To die? Leave him alone, Armand. 128 boys he's brought here. He's and you're the first he didn't consummate and drain. That makes you special. Please, ma'am. Bartering with desire, is that what makes you fascinating? He didn't even want me in the end. I'm good at getting angles, getting people to open up. You're going to teach me how to be fascinating. Leave him be! Is that what makes you fascinating? In high school, you told a girl you'd only do her if she had a paper bag over her head. She agreed, and you did it even as she cried. Okay, it's you, it's fascinating. You could read minds, right? Louis thinks I'm boring. You find me boring. Oh, God. Do you want to hear my story? In a sea? Yes. My first memory. I'm being run down by slavers in Delhi. My second, an eager black hole. I'll keep digging. But I'm not hopeful there's much more to you, Daniel, other than a hole. We're gonna leave him like that? Uh. Your boyfriend was in a trance of some sort. Oh, I can't. Lunch is almost over. Try. Why can't we just ask Armand? I listened to the tapes. The start, the start. Claudia, 
Start the stuff. Sounds about right. Yes, you said that. But why? He is so obsessed. It's not exactly how you've talked about him to me. If you want the insanity back, all you had to do was ask, Louis. The final act of service I'd like to perform before I... I leave you to yourself. I know where he is. I found his voice among the many. Hmm. No. I told him I was with you. Very cold. Mr. No. I told him you were thinking of him again. Yes. I'm here. He's waiting for you. He cannot hear you. He has injured himself. Louis. No. This is your chance, Louis. I am your maker's voice. You wanted to say something to me. What's happened to you? Why are you ill? What's happened to you? Tell him I love him, Mama. <laughs> I, see I love enough. you, Louis. Tell him, Louis. Uh -oh. I don't know what to make out of that. Is he alive or? He was my mate. It's not that more. You left me for death. <clears throat> Will I be on suicide watch for the next thousand years? I'll finish cleaning up. Rest. Rest. He said that to me too. Shh, 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 shh. Rest now. Rest? And then? I've been calling to you for some time. From every bad fix. From the unnamed malaise you feel Sunday afternoons. And now here I am and you can rest. I don't want to rest. I'm the quiet you've been longing for. After all the garishness of life. I like my life. The dull thrum of desperation in you. When I get the fixes I need, you already know who you'll be. An ugly duplex back in Modesto. A job in an office with drab carpets and flickering lights. A woman in the mold of your mother. All the confidence. And the hope of your youth replaced by a seething, boiling regret until one day. So I don't know if we're going to turn things around a bit. This episode's leaving me, like, frustrated. Like, I just want answers now that I didn't know how bad I wanted answers. There's still some time left, but come on. What's going on here? Like, just ask the fucking questions and answer them. <sighs> until one day... You're at a traffic light. You don't move. I'm a bright young reporter with a point of view. Shh, shh, shh. A comfortable chair. An easeful death. It's okay. Rest. So Rest. is he like hypnotizing, glamouring him? And this is why he can't remember? Jesus. Stop. I'm off. I'm cleaning up the mess. Doesn't need clean. After what you've put me through here, I deserve this. I know, but I need this one to live. It's a testament to our companionship. This boy to live out tonight. Are you asking, Maître? I'm not asking. Is he remembering what Daniel? he just told him that we didn't hear? Listen as though I'm the voice of God or an angel talking to you. You're not inconsequential or a junkie. You're a bright young reporter with a point of view. There are stories that need to be told. If things ever get bad again, these are the words you'll hear in your mind like a tape playing over and over. That's a free baser I befriended for a few days at the drug den. He told me to get my shit together, and then he Richard pryor right in front of me. Everyone scrambled, but I stuck around, watched him burn. What always confused me was that, you know, he, he, he said those words to me, and he was already all burnt up. I destroyed two marriages. I fucked up two daughters, but I stayed a journalist. We, I think, gave you more drugs, distorted it all in your mind, fed you a truncated version. He bit you. He bit me. I blacked out. You woke up in a drug den. I woke up in a drug den. Armand fogged my brain, redacted himself, yeah. which accounts for why I didn't remember. Yeah. And what accounts for why you didn't? I was disfigured. But you remember right up until when you bit me, and I remember right up until when you bit me. And then both our memories cut out. 
So, like, are we insinuating that Armand did something? <laughs> How was your lunch? That's Malik's glasses. He asked why you saved him in 1973. I could see you were partial to him. I preserve your happiness even when you don't or can't. I yeah, had a hunch much. Daniel might prove fruitful in later times. Okay. I don't know if I was satisfied with that episode, honestly. Like, I think it just kind of left more things unsaid or, like, just gave me more questions, which I guess is normal, but I feel like it needed... I need more. This is going to kind of put Louis against Ahmad. But I wonder if some of this episode, like, went over my head, maybe. I feel like Louis might actually be the bad guy, in some way, like they keep, like, don't be afraid of Ahmad, be afraid of the other one, meaning Louis. This is going to be very interesting for me on a second watch. I don't know. I think this episode just has left me wanting more answers to what's going on. But I guess it, maybe it's more of a just a setup for the next few episodes. I think we got three more, which is insane. But yeah, I'm excited to get back to Paris, catch up with the vamps over there. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. It's Billy. Hey vamps, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're getting into episode 6 of Interview with the Vampire. Like the light by which God made the world before he made light. <laughs> oh my god, these titles. Ray. Right. I feel like I kind of had an unpopular opinion for the last episode. I don't know, maybe some of you guys kind of catched my drift with it. But I'm excited to get back to the Paris vibe. I'm interested on what's going to go on from here, actually. Like, this is the final countdown, the last three episodes. I don't know. I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> if you'd like to watch the uncut reaction, check out my Patreon. Link will be below. I react to the trailer to the next episode in the inside the episode as a little bonus perk if that tickles your fancy but if you prefer the youtube edit let's get into it how did i get the tapes there was no postage on the package you were bugged huh do we really think rashid has something to do with this i thought it's like clear that rj was the one i'm going to the bathroom <clears throat> hello they sent a chaperone i'm sorry go away i've been dreaming about the macro here so RJ knows Rashid? Who funds you guys? Do you work with nation states? That's why you called me here? You had pictures of me in 1973. Pictures of them? Can you protect me? From being killed? No. You messaged me, I showed up. I want to get out alive. You want a book. I want both. You fear Armand. You should fear the other one. There's, like, no bad energy with Louis, which is what's, like, confusing, though. I mean, in this state. I think I could swap bodies with you. I'd be running the order by now. We should be returning now. Mr. Malloy would like to stay alive. Then perhaps he should have thrown the tapes away when he found them in his mailbox. As fast as the universe. Bravo! Bravo! Bravo. Really? You were an ancient vampire. You could read any mind you want. You buy that? I buy that he'd been in power. You can get lazy. It was love. Okay. And love. It was loving in those days. Sure. Rashid, did you and Mr. Malloy talk to anyone during dinner? Just the chef when ordering, sir. Why do you ask? Love. Interesting. Okay, there is some resentment lingering from the last episode. I was kind of like, did we just kind of sweep that under the rug? Diaries are friends of last resort. Fuck these vampires. That's her last entry, unless you're sitting on more of those ripped out pages. You have everything we have. Unless you're sitting on something behind your encrypted laptop. Madeline. I'm excited for this. Oh. It's not who I was expecting to be lurking. Bonsoir, Madame 
dit, faites vos dessins très ingénieux. Arrête, je suis d'accord, hein. That was not a good idea. Oh my god. Cue Claudia. Ew. Swimming. That guy across the street just watching. Like, who could even get hard in this situation? Mm -hmm. Disgusting. There was also fish. Claudia. What are we about to walk into? Oh my lord. She's hanging just by scissors. That's crazy. Go. Say it. You gonna run? A lot of noise just happened. I gotta clean up. If I don't, you could be in some trouble. Hey, Lord. That's good. I'm gonna clean up. And then what? Vampire. Maybe a plane. <laughs> And who is going to fly your plane? I'll fly. The first vampire capitalist, the first vampire pilot. Why not? Take off your clothes. I am going through uh, Sam's new clothes. Clothes off, face down in the coffin. Come read them to me while I fuck you. Oh. Yowza. What's it like to drink blood? Is it like drinking life itself? Warm. It's not the answers to life's mystery. It's food. I need it. Take a sip. No. Pourquoi non? No. Pourquoi There's one, two stars. You can't stop them. <sighs> Daddy is here. Is she dressed naked? You're supposed to run out of town? Um, yes, I'm the forbidden friend. Marilyn, this is Louis. Louis. She's Think. reading one of your diaries. Let's start again. Kind of love the. It's gonna rain into it. She's funny, she's blunt, and it's a long story, but I killed in front of her. Of course she did. And she sat in the corner and watched while I bundled up bodies. Didn't cry. And since then, we've been talking. Is it romantic? No. No. Not yet. You were Lestat's, now you're Armand's. Or Armand is mine. I've been a third all my life. I feel like I get to pick one thing for myself. 100%. And it's her, a weird white lady I met by happenstance. Hmm. <laughs> you want a companion? Doesn't every she vampire? Does. Yes. Don't be selfish, Louis. Last time I tried those young boys, they all died, Louis. I'm too small. I never made one before. I'm not sure if I can. No, not you. Not Lestat's blood. I wouldn't want that for anyone. Not good enough for us. Not good enough for her. She swore an oath, trampled on the laws, and I am to reward her for it? I ask for this, respectfully. Respect comes without a shield. You're a manipulator, Claudia de Leon Koch. No. I'm so happy this isn't like an annoying secret. Like, Louis knows, Armand knows. Let's get into it. Tu vas manger des humains comme tu manges ta pomme? Une par nuit. Quand je serai un vampire, est-ce que j'aimerais ma nourriture? He's gonna say yes. It's so interesting that this is like an interview. Et que feras-tu? Dans quelques décennies, quand elle se jettera dans le feu, parce qu'elle le fera. Peut-être qu'elle le fera pas. Yeah, I mean, if she's in love. That's what I'm thinking. Although, I know the fate of he her. He said no. I said I would not do it. But I don't think it's for that reason. What? I have never made a vampire. You are a 500-year-old vampire. And where shall we put the audience? Behind the fucking projection screen? Ooh, what's up your ass tonight? Is your <coughs> companion stuck up there? Claudia, can you respectfully find another object to buff? You're fangless! I love your work, Sam. Apologies. So cool. He'll be back. And he made you and Claudia. You're going to do it? Yes. When? Tonight. It's forbidden. Claudia does not want his blood. Can... Mm. You shouldn't do it. I want you to come. 
I want you to witness. It could be beautiful. Are you asking or making me? I'm sorry. It's okay. Make sure we're not bothered. Yeah? He's right for my life. I'm gonna go crazy if we don't stop. Yeah, me too. <clears throat> this is kind of interesting. If you get scared, you just look at that light. Listen to my voice. I won't let anything go wrong. Don't worry about the blood. It's the blood that made you. True. <sighs> we just chomping on in. Madeline welcomed my fangs. Yes. That's good. If he kills her, this is gonna be crazy. And Claudia guided her softly down the dark path. No, just that wouldn't happen. We have to see them a little bit at least. Oh, okay. Disjointed fragments. Madeline's life filled my head. The pleasures of a sly coupling, the joys of a sunny afternoon, the anguish of an unexpected death. Oh, wow. I just got chills everywhere. Oh. And humiliation of a trial by mob. Oh my god. I don't know if I was understanding her backstory. But amongst the pastiche of war and desire, oh my god. beauty and damage, I saw Claudia in an impossible afternoon light she could never survive in. Claudia I have chills this whole as time. Madeline perceived her. And I knew then, with all certainty, she would be a better companion to Claudia than I ever had. Yay. Don't kill her, please. I tore my wrist. Play mistake. And fed her the gift. They're both on their way. I told them to get out of town. They're out of town. Oh. And I know that because I can feel her. Madeline. Mm. This stranger. That's weird. Fledgling. I finished the job. Claudia took my hand. We said something about being even. I would have loved to like see this, you were right. but... Give it time. You'll find your way back to each other. What's in the suitcase? Some clothes, your books. I could have fought. They might have killed me. Hunted the three of you down. Caught you, burned you. You broke with the coven? They gave me a choice. I chose. They That's gave you, you a choice? You've remembered what you did to yourself in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. And you're angry that I erased it. Mm -hmm. I am. You have no right to be. You asked me to do it. Mm. I could see what? that. He's full of shit. I failed Louis Is once he? in my life. I don't it see. I, I, I would never ask you to do that. The pages I tore out of Claudia's diaries, we did most of those together. Not all of and them. And the ones I did on my own were to protect me from you, Mr. Malloy. Why did I owe you my shame? Why did I owe you my one act of cowardice? I spent the rest of my life trying to make up for it. I'll never make up for it. But he forgave me for it. I didn't forgive you. You want an apology? I'm sorry. You were going to drain me, pal. Belated apology number two. I asked you. I believe I'm on. Yes. Like, I mean, why wouldn't you? Who would want to remember after that? You came out of a shower three days after we abandoned him. Continuing on the record, Mr. Malloy, I was a coward. So thank you for falling right back into Daddy Lou's shoes. And thank you for never treating me like a child. Take some lessons, Louie. Are you thinking of coming back to Paris? <laughs> no. We're going to Wanda. Wanda? This one? Mm hmm See the straight line to the next X on the map? All right. OK, well, to find the X. I really wanted to see like more of her transitioning and stuff, but I get there's not a lot of time. Maybe in the book. How do you like my coffin? It's bliss. We didn't make it easy for you. I'm sorry for that. You all right there? I cannot read your mind. I made you. That's just the way it is. Yes, but I feel you, Louis. I feel you too. Interesting. I told Claudia I can feel you love her. 
And we should see him once more. I'm glad you did. I can feel you, too. Yes, he loves you. OK. OK, well, let's get the hell out of my soul. I don't need his head getting too big to get out the door. <laughs> oh, it's so nice to, like, have this moment. Huh? There he goes. Will he get through the door with that big head? <laughs> <laughs> I have chills, so cute. Why don't you want him to know how much you love him? That's a little personal. Are you kidding me? Oh Lord. Of course we couldn't just have a cute moment. Oh my God, what the fuck is about to happen? Do not end here. Armad, are you kidding me? They gave him a choice. He chose. Ladies and gentlemen, mesdames et messieurs. I have chills in a bad way. Are you ready, you filthy animals? Yes. The jury may be seated. And Louis. Two minutes to your entrance, Monsieur Dianco. Shut your mouth. Monsieur Dianco. Thank you. Uh, uh, I was just Ten gonna. Minutes. I am, have chills everywhere. That is really him, isn't it? We were on trial for. OMG. I was gonna end this saying that I miss Lestat. Holy fuck. What an interesting episode. I feel like I was a bit quiet, but like, this is, it's like, it's a lot to take in. This is very heady, and I struggle with the lore a bit, I guess. I hope you guys are enjoying this. We got two more left. Yeah, I kind of feel like I said what I said. Like, I wish we did get more of Madeline transformation. We didn't even get to see Claudia see her for the first time. And, like, them look at each other for the first time. But I feel like that's probably in the books, which is really cool. Okay, I'm going to react to the trailer for next week and inside the episode. Again, if you guys want to check me out on Patreon, it's a little bonus moment. But yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I will see you on the next one. It's Billy. Hey Slayers, hey Vams, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're reacting to I Could Not Prevent It, episode 7 of Interview with a Vampire. It ended with Lestat backstage. I was not expecting it. It was quite the shock. Last episode was really good. I honestly just want to get right into it, please. If you'd like to watch the uncut reaction, check out my Patreon. Link will be below. I also react to the next time and the inside the episode. Just a little fun extra bonus. Um, yeah, can we do it? Can we get into it? Let's go. Session 15, Louis de Pont de Lac, child vampire Claudia. I have chills. And her companion Madeline are. What? Anyone want to start? Abducted. Ah! Outnumbered? <laughs> Armand sold you I'm out. I'm talking now. I mean, obviously they get out of it, or Louis does, but like, how the heck are they going to get out of it? Uh. They didn't put her with the rat. <gasps> when the rats found her. Oh no. Oh my god. I could not go to her. I could not help her. Oh my god. Murders of the vampiress Antoinette Brown and the vampire Lestat. Next, come off your characters in a play. Props in a play. A play that's been fully designed. But Claudia's sitting next to him, right? And every actor on stage has scripted lines 
except for us. Just like the other victims. If we attempted to speak, the cover members sitting behind us would use their collective powers to disorient our minds, our hearing, a vice handle turning. How can be Jaws compressing the skull. They are both trying to kill us! We've no need to hear from you. We have your words here in all that chilling premeditation of 1939. I shall be your angel of death. Poor Madeline didn't even have like a second. Well, I have already planned. These fans know though that she's the girl, right? But give it a read. Oh. Pass it around. The Stan is having her moment. Oh. Slashed to the bone. No. Wounds that would not heal before the curtain fell. Oh God. Set. Where is Ahmad? They just like let him go, and Ahmad didn't do anything. The audience. Or is Ahmad gonna be the one that saves the day? We are on trial for murder. De Leoncourt. This is a crazy, gang moment. Imagine being Louis seeing us up. This is crazy. A very special book for you. Written by the vampire Claudia, in which your last words are recorded in your own blood. It's their turn to hurt. Oh my god. So, your new boyfriend sold you out to your old boyfriend. Okay, all right, I sold him out. And then he put you on a show trial yes. in front of a live human audience. That's right. Take us back to the beginning. Story of butchery. It's a story of love, not butchery. Love. He's always been difficult for me. Uh. My first paramour. Nicolas de Lafont, a violinist, belonged to this very theater troupe. I followed Lestat's gaze and saw Armand in one of the boxes. It stopped my heart until I saw the vampire Sam standing next to him, blocking his exit. He was as much of a captive as we were. Just a clarification for the readers. To save your own life, Armand, you screwed over Louis, Claudia, and Madeline, and then you sat in the best seat in the house watching the consequences of you screwing them over. He had a lot to account for, but he spent the whole performance calculating a way to save me. An unfathomable sadness seeped into me with Nikki's death. I disembarked for New Orleans. Who? Did you meet the Monsieur de Leoncourt? Louis de Pointelat. It's true. His eyes sliding down me. I. He has nice hands. Louis was saying, come to me. Come to me? Those are his words. <gasps> he kept coming around after me. <laughs> Imagine the feeling, the pressure. Oh. And after the heartbreak that was Nikki to feel such hunger again, I offered Louis myself instead what I am, my companionship. The episode when he turns Louis into a vampire is so good. The accused raised up his hands and took your face in them with a kiss of acceptance. Yes. Back. <laughs> Did you say something? Men embracing men. It disgusts you. I'm pretty sure it disgusts a whole lot of people. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Let's see what we could do about that. Germans overran your line and three days later you ran off. During which time your friend, who you share a matching tattoo with Private Ernest Hughes, arm was shot off. Sucks. There are 14 men who served their countries honorably in attendance with us this afternoon. They may, like yourself, be disgusted by the transcendent love between two vampires of the same sex, but I wonder. I must ponder. Where lies their disgust now? <laughs> Continue. Magic. A transient form. This outfit is everything. There was a night when he told me I'd be alone forever. An awful night. The single worst thing that a vampire can feel is loneliness. Which is so interesting. Such a great vampire lore thing. 
Do they not know this? Pick me. This is loneliness. This is vampire loneliness. You want to crawl up and die, don't you? Looks like I it. Know. And he threatened me with this loneliness. Shame on you! You abandoned me in that town. This is clips from Another. season one, right? Yeah. Oh. You will regret this for the rest of your life. He's got a point. I made her for Louis. She is my blood. I broke the second law. When you sentence them for their crimes, you sentence me to. I was gonna say, like, why is it okay for... It's all lies, right? It's a hot lie. Oh. Wait. No, it's not. How Claudia was made? Am I believing the lies? He didn't tell me what she would be. Mm. But Claudia's defect caught up with her. You could have told me I had a defect. Claudia's moods worsen. I mean, I would argue that she's in the best place right now. <laughs> Guys, I'm being so quiet, but like, you I feel like I'm at the theater. You're leaving with her? I don't know. You're gonna leave me. Oh, in this moment, I'm feeling bad for Lestat. Like, look at those puppy eyes. Wrap it around that scrawny neck of yours. <laughs> Just like you did our dog. I ain't gonna stop until your eyes pop. Okay. <laughs> Just me then. <laughs> oh, it's amazing acting, honestly. <laughs> I'm burdened with my maker's temper. <laughs> no. You were teased until you toppled. He tried to kill him. Oh, did he? You used your cloud gift. You flew the accused high up into the air, then you let him fall. The audience is getting a show tonight. It's a hard fall. Nothing more. You knew he would be fine, and he was fine. No! Santiago is not liking the off-script moments. I let go of him. It wasn't a misunderstanding. It wasn't an accident. I let go of him. Lestat could ruin my life. <laughs> I watched him clutch the air. I saw him swinging wild as he fell through the clouds. The projections went off sync. Lestat went off script again. How do you know it wasn't part of the show? Sam was cursing to himself beside me. And it's written all over Santiago's face. <laughs> Even a human could see that. I did it to hurt him, and it did hurt him. I will always be sorry for what I did to you. This is so interesting, because as... It's too fucking late. Evil as I was Lest not worthy of the forgiveness you would give me. As evil as Lestat is, like, this is all stemmed from evil love. Like, he truly loves Louis. Such an interesting concept. Continue. Oh, poor baby. Okay. Nice apology. Wasn't no, expecting that. And it really was from the heart that he doesn't have. Crossed an ocean because he wanted us dead. Real pretty. Oh, no, no. You dropped him. Uh-uh, can't. Like can't react to that, I'm sorry. From an airplane. He's fine now. You apologize. All is forgiven. We poisoned him. A confession. He's not dead. He's standing right here in front of us. You got to accept my apology. Claudia, stop. <laughs> oh, whoopsie daisy. Bailiff, could you clear it up, please? You didn't come here for me. Oh, it would be so cool if One there could be a team again. In the stormy romance of you two, never been about me. I was just a roof shingle that flew off of your house. No. Are we on trial? It's not a trial. It's a stone Oh. <laughs> is that like a cereal bowl of blood? Because that is so cute. This is hard. <laughs> Rashad. The sentencing. What is her crime? Oh, oh she's just a bastard fledgling. Yet she is oblivious to the crimes committed by her yeah, maker. She has it is no only fair that she be offered the same choice as any vampire. She must join. Or die. Or die. Or die. Oh, 
Oh, my no God. No points for enthusiasm, but it is true and fair. The choice is yours. I knew that Claudia would say yes. Oh. I'm the vampire Madeleine Parvi. And my immortal companion is Claudia. My coven is Claudia. Coven Claudia. Hashtag. My vampire heart quivereth. The murderer skips through. Quivereth. That's amazing. Indeed. Guilty or not guilty? Guilty! <laughs> and there being only one sentence applicable, that being death. What is your sentence? Death! death! Guilty or not guilty? Guilty! And the sentence? Death! May I ask the court for a final request? Mm, no. Let her have it. Yeah, I want to know what she's going to say. Are they going to turn on Lestat? Man in the balcony wearing the high hat would you kindly remove it? Oh. Thank you. I now know all your faces. If there is an afterlife, I'm going to come back and fucking kill all of you. Okay, work. And if there isn't an afterlife, I'm still going to find a way. For the vampire, Louis de Pointe. Do luck. Guilty or not. Guilty as Guilty. sin. And the sentence. <laughs> Banishment. 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 Interesting. That's cool. He got in their heads to say that. It took all my strength. You saved Louis. I mean, I don't really get. Yes. But not her. I could not prevent it. Arguably, a sentence worse than death. All right, have it your way. Hmm. Send him to Belgium. <laughs> like he's there gonna lock him for eternity or something? Oh my god, is this really how Claudia's gonna die? Oh my god, is this... Oof, the acting is perfection. I have chills everywhere. Oh no, I'm, gonna I'm scared now. The they're crypt. <sighs> Shove me in a coffin. What did they pour? What did they pour on him? Filled the coffin. With what? With rocks, so I couldn't move. What was that, Louis? <laughs> How long? Oh my God, that's fucking so scary. And if you yell, like the rocks are going down his throat. For how long? Oh my God. To starve to death. And while that's going on, she's upstairs on stage. Ask him. I wasn't there. Oh my god, I can't breathe. Okay. You were there. And now for your viewing pleasure. The lip of the stage. Is she gonna die? Does anybody have the right now? Claudia? What you're about to see is fake. Remember that when you leave here today. Um. Follow the bouncing ball. <sighs> And started singing to her executioners. Claudia gave the audience her back. Oh. And Madeline succumbed first. Oh. No, I know I went Lestat. And you could tell from the look on Lestat's face. What? The last thing she saw on earth. Oh my god. Was him. That's crazy. I have chills everywhere. Oh my god, Claudia, no. Oh, Louis, I'm sorry. She's dead. I was dead. 
Oh my god. Damn. Oh my god, Claudia, no. I figured that she was gonna die this season. I kind of forgot. I was not expecting it this episode. I'm so interested in the movie. Does the movie have this whole theater thing? Like, I don't get it. I can't wait to watch the movie, guys. We'll be doing that very soon. Damn. Ugh, Madeline. They died together at least. That was hard to see. The visual effects were fucking iconic, though. So cool. Uh, it makes me wonder, like, if Buffy was out today, like, how cool the vampire dusting would be. Wow, that was really heavy. I'm bummed. It's really interesting how, like, Lestat... I feel like they're not done with Lestat, like, because Lestat's wrong, too. He made Claudia, so, like, why is she dying? He made her. All of this happened because of... Louis, obviously, and Lestat. He made her. <sighs> Alright guys, I am bummed. I don't have too much to say. I just want to see the next week's trailer and the inside of the episode. I'm very curious if you guys want to join on Patreon. It'll be on there, Slayer tier. But yeah, I will be back soon with the season 2 finale. Um, thank you guys for being here. Give a like, subscribe, and comment below. Such a fantastic show. So good. I can't. I'm gonna go mourn the loss of Claudia, the brilliant vampire. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you very soon with the season finale. It's been Hey vamps, hey slayers, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're reacting to the finale of Interview with the Vampire. This episode is called, And That's the End of It, There's Nothing Else. Quote, unquote. <laughs> I'm sad that this is the end, but I'm ex so excited for the conclusion. I guess this isn't so spoilery, I guess. I mean, it kind of is, but... Really excited for season three because... I know it's going to be like centered on Lestat. Definitely missed him this season, but it all makes sense. This has been a fabulous season. I'm loving it, but I do love a uh, Lestat de l'Anco, de l'Ancre, whatever, de Miliac, whatever. Um, I'm getting Louis and his name confused too on top of it. And I think like if you know the book journey, I believe the third book or the second book is about Lestat, so they're kind of going in order. I think maybe... The fact that it's part two, yeah, I think this is Interview with the Vampire, the first book. This probably all goes down. So then the second book is probably Lestat. So I'm, I'm expecting like a real conclusion at the end of this, like not so cliffhangery, but maybe they will. Because I almost feel like season three, part three, will kind of be telling its own story. Just literally based off what I've seen. Like, I already think there might be like a Lestat season three teaser or something. But yeah, I'm very excited to get into it. So let's do it. But first, if you'd like to watch the uncut reaction, check out my Patreon. Link will be below. I have the full length reactions for all of season one and two if you want to have a billy binge i like to call it or if you want to just generally support the channel you can you can check out the angel tier and get some uh, videos earlier than the youtubes but yeah if you are here on youtube thank you so much i appreciate you guys and let's get into it i could not prevent it i could not prevent it oh <sighs> gosh poor claudia and madeline Oh, okay, so Louis in that the rocky tomb. Oh my god, and we hear Louis. A quiet, peaceful death. Not too quiet. He just freaking no didn't even care about that one. She was dead. I knew it. Claudia was dead. Damn. Chills already. Like I couldn't feel my hands, my back. What were the consequences of you saving Louis? Demotion. Ridicule. Oof. Santiago had suspected I had rigged the audience to spare Louis's life. I don't get how he's just surrendering to Santiago. Like, can he kill all these motherfuckers? Claudia is dead. Every time he says that, I get for chills. The craftsmanship was solid. How are you letting this happen? 
When a vampire starts screaming I'm from armed. starvation, he hasn't much time left. And as Louis withered away, life in the theater returned to abnormal, all under the increasingly self-satisfied eye of Santiago. You ruined his play. They didn't get to kill Louis on stage. He had outwitted me, hurt me deeply. How did you get him out? Yo, I just need to know. Come on. I placed a sacrifice in an old vault coffin. Swapped that coffin for Louis. I was the defeated vampire, Mr. Malloy. I tasted the blood. I knew it was his. I was dead. But my rage had risen. Oh. That just almost oh. made me gag. I know you can hear me. You must leave Paris. I am not seeking forgiveness. Is that you? Did you save me at the trial? Yes. You pulled me out the wall? Yes. I could not save her. If I thought there was a way, I would have. Shut up. Do not find yourself at the theater tomorrow night, curfew. Okay. Let's kill these motherfuckers. You know he was going to burn it down? No. You warned him. Yes. He'd already betrayed you once. Why risk it? My rage and madness were asleep. It was a test. I don't remember. 13 to 1. Maybe you were hedging your bets? I didn't know his plan. I'd shut my mind off to him, Daniel. If I'm not with him, I'm nothing. The plan? I was going to die. And I was going to take as many of them with me as I could. Daniel Malone is slick. In the lair where they slept. Sorry, guys. Six by fire, two by blade. That wasn't that satisfying, honestly. I wanted to see those fucking suckers, literally. In all. And with no sign of Armand from the start, that meant four had escaped. <sighs> two out the front, two through the sewers. Oh, of course. And that, okay. For contingents. I like this. It had to be the London Coven. They have always been jealous of us. It's feeling Santiago. You try drinking from Costa Basket. Oh, this is cool. Bye bye. Hello, Francis. You. Did I wake you? I tried to be quiet coming and going, but. Is your companion with you? We broke up. Doubt that. Hard to hold hands after he killed my sister and my fledgling, but think what you want. It was me that gave Claudia that hot exit from the garden. Come to me. Can I be caught? Into our girl. <sighs> you make his voice as he walked away. I don't care what you call yourself. Come to me. I'd love to see like a. I was just gonna say, I'd love to see like a hand to hand combat. That's it? Give us a little rumble. A pretty iconic though. Say that shit about Claudia to my face. <laughs> Sick. That was cool. Creed a martini. A touch more more bit much. The you asked for this morning, Mr. Malloy. That was effortless. Filled him so. With worthiness. And it made it's him truly badass. And all my rage and mad. Where is like Lestat though? Lestat's alive. When did you start lying to me? Okay, they're meeting up. This is good. Night of Madeleine's transformation. A while back then. They were all on stage waiting for me. Told me they had done a rewrite. Tossed the script at my feet and it's my coven of 200 years. And at the time, I could not count on your love lasting as long. You rehearsed it with Lestat? They rehearsed it with him. I stayed in my coffin when I was there. Hmm. I will spend my life making it up to you. You'll never make it up to me. I know. Is Lestat still in Paris? You'll never be able to kill him. That wasn't my question. Yes, he's still here. 
Wait, you win this night again. Ask for Thank job. God. The lights going out of your blue eyes, like all the summer days are gone. Armand's older than Le uh, Lestat, right? Was it a good day's rest? Does it take a lot out of you? Destroying everything in your wake? Well, almost everything. He looks small. He's come home. This was Magnus's lair. Some distance between the happy couple. Details left to work out after the homicidal frolic. Yes, where you kept you? This is so interesting. No. This was for the disappointments. The ones before me. He had a knack for design. Nordic blondes on walls. Dirty blondes in piles. Right above where the gremlin stands now. I don't care. I came here to have a think. Why I do what I do. Why? Burned your daughter alive? Why you rehearsed a play? The great laws. What fucking law did you ever follow? Stop. Motherfucker. Hmm. I've come to kill you. I have the blood of Magnus in me. Magnus burned. I have the blood of Akasha. He doesn't know who that is. I'd have to be willing. And I'm not in the mood. My blood is your blood. Mm. And yet. Here's your death. Let's start. He and I are going to spend the rest of our lives together. Wherever your miserable life takes you, whoever you find to adore time with, whatever pale proxy of me, I'll be with him. Just wanted you to know that. Wow. <laughs> Enjoy you. Let's see how long it holds. An odd phrase. What do you think he meant by that, Louie? It's fairly obvious. He didn't think we would make it. 77 years. Almost to the day. We left him there. I meet it. Here, there, everywhere, and Dubai. And that's the end of it. World travelers. There's nothing else. Really? Yeah, what do you have to say, Daniel? End of session. Did he fake hitting the end of recording? Cheers, brother. He loved you. I can say that now. He loved you a great deal. It must have been terrible for him to see us off that night. Mind if I ask a few follow-up questions? There's just some things I've been jotting down along the way. Yeah, of course. Small stuff. Hmm. You and the tractor salesman in the bar in New Orleans, you said that Lestat telepathically told you that you were scaring the salesman. A maker can't do that anymore after transformation, right? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe he whispered it to me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you said that four escaped the theater. Celeste, Estelle, Santiago, and... Sam. Sam Barclay. We never quite figured out how he did it. Did you ever get to him? No. Time heals, Daniel. I believe he's a DJ now. A DJ? He wears a decorative <laughs> helmet on his head when he performs. Does he? Yeah, it's funny, because Sam's in two places at once at one point in your story. He's guarding Armand in the theater box, but you also have him helping to bury you below stage. He was with me in the box. Yeah. I just got it wrong. Rashid, should we begin dinner preparations? Yes, sir. Mm. I do hope you'll join us. I'd be honored. The night that Lestat brings all those soldiers home and you tell him to throw them out, how many soldiers did he mindfuck out of the townhouse that night? <laughs> I don't know. 10, 15, 30? Huh. Huh? Back to the trial again. It seems to me there was more than one person in the theater that night who could have saved you. I don't know. <laughs> da Dan. I know, I know. It, it, it's my job. I'm built this way. I, I know. It's in um, your nature, Mr. Malloy. Couldn't get out the door without lobbing one more bomb. Well, you said it yourself just now. He loved Louis. Lestat would have tried to save him as much as you did. And he certainly would have made it known that he had. Santiago, hand the diary into the audience. Have them feel the evidence in their hands. This is too early for Lestat to acknowledge Louis. So these are just some notes along the margins. Where did you get that? Read it for yourself. I'm not, like, really... Putting the dots together. Am I not supposed to get this? That's when the black angel came. But he came back. He did, with her. 
And now you rise from your chair and walk towards Claudia. And how do you suppose that you will keep her quiet in this moment? Hmm? The judges will fog her mind. You have no idea of Claudia's strength. He didn't witness the play. He directed the play. Louis de Pointe du Lac. Guilty. So Lestat knew that and didn't tell Louis, which is kind of interesting. I don't, I don't know. Maybe he couldn't because Amrad would kill him. Oh my god, it was Lestat who saved him, not Armad. So Armad was gonna be okay with Where him dying? Where does the start, Armand, Amadeo? You were supposed I to have die chills. with Claudia. Uh, he didn't directed save you. Lestat. Lestat did. I have chills everywhere. He just took credit for it when the opportunity presented itself. And you... Wasted everyone who could have told you differently. So Why is Armad everyone's favorite, it seems? I mean, to each their own, but... I love you, Rasad. <laughs> it's a forgery, Louis. I'm talking about you guys in the comments. It's from the Talamasca. Sam was their guy in Paris. He gave it to them. They gave it to me here. <laughs> Louis. Louis. What? Louis! Mr. Santiago's still here. He's the fact he put me in touch to work in the wet room after he wanted me to stop. Don't. 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 Don Oh, thank God, it's Louis. Uh, I'm guessing Rashid left after he brought me the newspaper. <laughs> You're not to touch him. Do you understand? You harm him in any way, I will kill you. Whoa. Do you? I'm leaving now. And you're leaving return, him here? You need to be caught. Holy shit. You should gather your things from your room. I'll arrange a car and a plane to take you home. I'll see there's $10 million wired into your account. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you. I have chills. This is crazy. Do we need that? I mean... I was hoping the cane will wait until July. Had two on the floor for no addition at the Essence Festival. There's a lot left of this episode. What the hell's gonna happen? Where are we? First time in New Orleans? Oh my god, we're back home. Yeah. Ish. Yeah, we at home. Oh my god, Lestat's totally gonna be in New Orleans. But we are boarding up the hotel for the hurricane. We're asking our guests to fill out this liability waiver. No problem. This is 1132 Rose Street, home of the most infamous part oh. ever thrown in New Orleans. Sebastian knew a fella by the name of Tom mm. Anderson. He was a former Louisiana state representative. Mr. Melmer, he wasn't alone in 1132. Also in residence was a local Creole hustler and his little child bride. They were running a voodoo cult in the back rooms above the courtyard guard. Who or who that? The next morning, couldn't nobody find hair to hair piece of none of them. But what did they find? Ugh. Inside the That's factory gross as fuck. Who the Mr. heck are you? The hustler and the child bride lured these particular citizens to this house of lies and intrigue. Oh, the rats in the bag are fucking freaking me out. It's not Lestat's new lover, is it? Doesn't Lestat feel him here? God, fuck you. Wild out there. Shut up. My god, so Lestat is alive in present day. <gasps> it kinda low-key assumed he's dead. He was dead, but this is even better. Oh my god. Like, I assumed he died. I guess they kinda set it up like that, right? Who's you? Hello. Louis. Oh, he knows. Yes. Okay. Louis? Get out. Get out. Where? Fucking tell it! Oh, shit! Oh. God damn it! Tell your rats, you French fucking bitch. I 
he's eating rats, is he like a good boy now? Fire gift in your honor. Where is some fledgling? All the millennials are. Millennial. Oh. Check out my podcast, Young Millennials. Would you like one? Sure. Hello, Louis. Passing through? No, I came to see you. Oh. And what does your companion think of that? I'm companion enough for myself now. Love it. Two Good for halves shouldn't make a whole. Two holes should be together. I'm sorry I don't have much time. I'm in the middle of rehearsing. Rehearsing? I'm going on tour. Siri, pause. <laughs> We're in the modern day. Love it. Did you save my life in Paris? I gave you to Armand. What you fucking love? Why didn't you say it was me who saved you, not him? I don't like to point out my virtues. Besides, I know you'd figure it out. Eventually. Look, you have. I was right. <laughs> I'll help me. Here in New Orleans. Whole time. It's my home. I was selfish. I tried to make nights off for you. I see. I wanted you to suffer. Shall we list all the ways we have wronged each other and why it will never be right between monstrous? I came to thank you for the gift you offered me, the gift I denied, for the nights in front of me where I might learn and live honest. Thank you. September 8th, 1973. It was 11.07 here. Armand called me. Oh my god. And he didn't tell Louie. Yeah. He said, I love you, right? Did you hurt yourself? I was lost. Not Is this really way. happening? They're crying. Oh. <laughs> I was thinking about. He always thought about you, Lassat. I can't, I can't get her out of my mind. Claudia? You have the same problem. I can't, Louis. Hey, it's, it's not on you. I carried her home. I made you turn her. I saved her from the fire. She looked at me at the end. I know, that was so fucking brutal. Like a child. <laughs> and he didn't do anything. Looking to her father. I have chills all over. But I was new. I couldn't predict this in the slightest. Don't tell me it's over. And we are back. <sighs> oh my god. Welcome back, Atlanta. And welcome to my next Atlanta. Guest, journalist and author of the current best selling fictional memoir, Interview with the Vampire, Daniel Malloy. Thanks, Leonard. Uh, it's a memoir, it's not fiction. It is from one of Staten the Island. Topics of, is it true or is it a joke? Well, I've sold. Or the wife was, I don't know. Months, five million books in four months. Yes. Is it true you shop this book to every major publisher in the country and the UK? You haven't even told your viewers what the book is about. Oh, good point. The book purports to be an interview with an actual vampire. Oh, I know <laughs> what it's about. It's about you, Leonard trying to go viral. Oh, I interviewed an actual vampire, actually two vampires, supported by a mountain of historical documentation. You took a noble career. Didn't even read it. Put it in the shrine. Didn't read the book. Millions of these books, more than Johnny Grisham or Prince Harry and the Prisoner of Santa. If that's what the cover really looks like, that would be so cool. Like so if they used it. read and you're a hack. What a delight. Thanks so much for being here, Daniel Malloy. Can't wait to read the book. Did he just say blow me? That's fucking hilarious. Louis, Louis de Lac, it's me. Listen, your royalty checks keep bouncing back to me. I need a forwarding address. No editor's next book, I promise. There won't be a next book. There shouldn't have been a first book. You want the 10 million back? Just say it, man. You know where I live? I really wouldn't be staying put if I were you. I'm guessing you haven't heard from my maker. No. Fucking asshole. I'm sorry you were burdened out of spite, and I shouldn't have left you alone with him. Make it up to me. We'll do a follow-up book. What do you want, Daniel? 
Is Daniel a vampire you. bitten by her mod? I'm fine. I keep hearing the other vamps talking about you. They're really fucking pissed off about our book. Daniel said my maker. Is Daniel a vampire? <laughs> Who is that a picture of? Do we oh, know? Quiet now. <gasps> this is the vampire Louis Dulac. I live in the penthouse apartment at the Al Sharaf Towers in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. My front door is always unlocked, as are the windows to my balcony. So for all you cowards out there talking shit, hear this now. I own the night. I'm gonna marry the night. Oh my god. So freaking good holy crap guys i'm judging you armanders <laughs> like i never trusted him really i mean i don't know like how do you guys like him knowing the end i guess there's gonna be more to the story obviously so don't tell me i'm wondering about sam that was left kind of open vampire sam the dj I'd love to go to a set. That was so good. Oh my God. So I know like it's going to be heavily based around Lestat now, I think in season three. So I guess we'll learn everything maybe up into the point of this and then maybe the next season. I'm really excited for like, I don't know. I feel like there's act, there might be a lot of interview with the vampire books. But it'd be kind of cool if they get to the point eventually where, like, they have to go beyond the books. I think, like, that might have happened in, like, The Walking Dead, which, I mean, could be, like, tricky. But honestly, there's I have a lot of faith in this show that, like, it would be phenomenal. Because, like, I would just, like, I'd love to see Lestat and Louis, like, taking modern day eventually. But maybe that's not, like, what will happen. I don't know. But I'm so surprised about the massive or mod love because he was a traitor in the end. So I feel like you guys probably want to tell me why. Like, there has to be more. Like, I get it, I guess. But I was always stand with Lestat. And, like, he truly loved him. And as crazy, I mean, no, again, no one is like a good guy. So in this world, he loved Louie and they could have been happily ever after. Oh my God. I'm so excited for next season. I hope it doesn't take as long as it did for this season, but I know there's like that teaser. Maybe I'll react to it. I don't know. Um, I'll see how long it is, but wow. All right, Slayers, thank you guys so much. Please give this a thumbs up if you want me to react to season three. I'm going to. But it really helps get my channel and my reactions out there. I don't get, like, as many views as other people, and I don't... Am I just, like, I don't know. What is it about me? Stop because I'm not a, a monster, I don't know. But I'm going to watch the inside the episode over on Patreon if you want to come visit us over there. Oh my god, I'm going to be reacting to Interview with the Vampire the movie, so please stay tuned for that. Bloody excellent chef's kiss. I'm going to actually look up that like sneak peek thingy. Oh my god, it's four minutes. Okay. Yeah, we have time. Let's do it, guys. Subscribe for the future. Season three. This is a little Comic-Con teaser. Meet Vampire Lestat. I believe that this season will be heavily focused on him, which he's like my favorite character. So I am beyond excited. I'm going to be reacting to the movie. I've never seen it before. So stay tuned for that as well. Let's get into this little teaser. I'm so hyped. Shaline Court. Hi, I'm Mark Johnson. I'm the executive producer. We talked on the phone a couple of times. We're really excited about the uh, I don't remember you. documentary. <laughs> okay. Hey, man. Thanks for the tickets last night. Great show. Slay. Who the fuck are you? This is Christine Clare, Mr. Lion Court's lawyer. Uh, hair and makeup now. Do I look like I need you? No. Oh my god, my fave. There's a goblet on the table. Can we get rid of the goblet, please? We need to wire you for sound. I hope you don't mind. 
the camera we're going to be using is called an Interatron. Sam Reed, you here. are incredible. Your sound man is dehydrated. Okay, we'll we'll get him some water. Get him some water, please. <laughs> All right, let's fucking go, people. Forty-three minutes. Shut the fuck up. We're rolling. Mm -hmm. That was rolling. nice of him. Rolling. 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 Only. The vampire mm -hmm. Lestat. Action. Okay, we're gonna start. Let's. Could you state your name for the camera? Justin Bieber. I see you have my book there. What do you think of? <laughs> <laughs> is this sorry. is it just gonna be this one take oh my god there hasn't been any cuts i love this yeah i am the vampire lister i wonder i'm immortal if daniel is a vampire there these things might destroy me but then again they might not Purple, yes, my favorite color. Is that it? Ooh, 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 ah. Oh, this is him. This is him singing. Ooh, ah. Oh, I heard something about this. This better be on Apple Music. Oh my god, he's gonna be like a superstar. Relatable. Another face, another year, another place, another tear. Pick up the pace, rack up the fears. Now I have a face. 2025 can we get a release date <gasps> epic 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 oh my god guys if you guys would like to watch my uncut reaction to this it's actually at the end of season two episode eight i react to it at the end of the episode over there but yeah guys i'm so excited for this upcoming season the show is so brilliant and rice it breaks my heart that she's not here to see this that is really that's really sad because she's brilliant i'm definitely planning on listening to the audibles to the show so i'll kind of have more of like an insight in season three assuming that i get to it i hope that i do i think that i will yeah all right guys if you like this video and excited for me to react to season three please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to slay it's